We're live. Dramatic, very dramatic, the lighting. But how's everyone doing? How's it going? How's it going, friends? What's going on? You guys ready to party? You guys fired up? Welcome to the stream. The MMA Hole is live. We're on the phone. Make sure we're good to go. Mm. One's in the chat if you hear me. Let's see if we're good. Let's see if we're good. La da 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 da. It's the motherfucking deal to the Okay, it works. Okay. How's everyone doing? You got us? Okay, we're good. So we're watching B2 Fight Series. That's what we're reacting to. Uh, B2 Fight Series number 183. Smiling Sam Alvey is fighting at heavyweight. Columbus, Georgia is where it's at. It's on Fight TV if you want to watch along with us. Uh, click the link in the live chat. We got a little Fight TV uh, promo app. But um, I noticed the... Uh, okay, intermission. I noticed the Fight TV app has been acting a little weird. But the main card didn't start, so we're good. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Settle in. Settle in, everybody. Um, we're also going to open up uh, some of the, the gifts that you guys gave for the registry. I'm going to toss the garbage out. Yeah. Put it in the fridge. Yeah, I'll eat it later. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Are there roaches? Where? Where are there roaches? Uh, you look tremendous uh, in natural light. <laughs> it would be better if I had the light coming this way, but this is very unflattering. But it is what it is. The TV's up there, so. And I got a baby screaming in the background. Hi, Ellie. Hi. You waving at me? Hi. So what's going on? What's going on? I figure we do a phone stream. We, we go mobile on this one. Uh, do something a little different. A little vintage, vintage uh, MMA hole stream. I feel like, um, you know, it's been a little stuffy in the studio. So let's, let's move. Let's move to a different setting. I got the, uh, the fights on. It says, you are watching the B2 fight series. So Smile and Sam Alvey, former UFC fighter. This is his first fight uh, back um, after fighting in the UFC. It was a rough run. What the? What the? What the? A mighty hands? Of the holes, Mrs. Silly Girlfriend. Time about trolls. Welcome to the dead end. Cock so big that you can't even comprehend. Boston Grove, making bitches moan. On the timestamp throw while the chat room stone. Hold up, save the show. For the tell to be told about Michael and Salome. Let's go. Clinking beer mugs. Thank you, Hearns. Appreciate that. Thank you, Hearns. We still have the goal up over here, so. We hit that 12K tonight. We will still do that bonus crazy stream tomorrow, the marathon stream. We'll put, we'll roll it over. We'll roll it over for today to hit that goal. Give another chance to hit that. We hit it. We do the marathon stream tomorrow. Thank you for the 1975 donation. Muchos gracias. Muchos gracias. The mighty ends. Shout out to the ends. So they got some, uh, I got to turn this off. They got some like weird ass. So B2 Fight Series got some, they got an interesting production. Um, <laughs> it's very interesting. Now it's, it's got like this cocktail hour music going on, so I had to lower that in the background. But it is on Fight TV, and you know, what do you expect? You know, I, you know it's not going to be top tier fighting. Um, you know, it's just going to be something to watch, some carnage. And I like Smile and Sam, so that's why we're doing this. There's nothing else really going on. There's LFA, if you like to watch uh, a little more tight card. LFA is probably the way to go, but we're going circus route tonight. We're going with Smile and Sam Alvey because, you know, he's a friend of the show and um, always got a root for Sam. Uh, let's see. So what's going on here? How's everyone doing? How's everyone's Saturday going? What's the weather like? It's, it's summertime over here. So we're just hanging with the boys on a warm, summery evening. I agree, Ellie. I agree. 
It's 458 over here in the Amazon, the the Amazon, the Amazon, <laughs> the Arizona MMA Holes universe. Uh, this is B2FC, not BKFC. Sadly, no, not BKFC. Why sadly? You don't like you don't like B2FC. Uh, what up, Moss? Hope you guys are doing or wonderful, wonderful. How you doing, Dustin? What's going on? Happy Saturday. That'd be easier if I read it like this. Do it off the phone. We're gonna take you on the road today on this phone stream. A little more internet, internet. Why I can't talk today? Intimate, internet. What's wrong with me? Hmm. Summertime and the living is easy. It's 8 p.m. Yo, what time is it for everyone in the chat? What time we got over there? Sounds like you're talking uh, through a toaster. Wait, what happened? Sounds no good. Let's listen. Let's see. Check, check, one, two. Check, one, two. Let's see. Check, check, one, two. Check, check one, two. Check. Oh, okay. All right. This is, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like I'm talking to a cell phone. Is that what you're trying to say? It's, it sounds like you're talking to a cell phone because the audio is fine. It sounds like that, that comment was like your fucking brain is in a toaster. How about that? You bastard making me pause the show for nonsense and tomfoolery. B2FC is good, uh, but BKFC is more interesting because a good KO is 90% likely. Uh, and that makes it more interesting to me personally. Uh, yeah, I've never watched B2FC. I just saw there was a grappling match that happened, and now there's some, you know, I'll show you. There's some, like, just screensaver. That's, that's, that's what I'm watching right now. There's just a screensaver. That's, that's, that's a B2FC up there. Riveting. That's what I got. That's what I got. So we're just waiting on, the, I guess, the main card to get going. That's uh, happening. Maybe we'll get a little high, have a drink. What should we do? Should we get? Should we get toasty? Should we get toasty today? What should we consume? Uh, B two FC is up. Up TP. One eighty three events. Yeah. Oh, up to one eighty three events. I think that's what you mean. Um, yeah, that is a lot of events, right? Number 183, this is the first one I'm watching. <laughs> it took me this long to watch B2. I didn't even know it existed, but Fight TV has a lot of promotions. They, they showcase a lot of the regional stuff. And um, there's, yeah, there's a lot of promotions out there that I have not seen. Uh, you're already lit, let's go. We beat Pittsburgh, congrats. Uh, looking extra delfish today. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from uh, the Mariners game. Hey, congrats. How was that? How, did they win? Did they lose? What happened? Let's get toasty. B2FC sounds like a new woke movement. Yeah. You know what's weird? Like, Sam Alvey is the co-main event, yet he is on the poster. There's, like, a title fight, a vacant title belt on the line, and Sam Alvey at heavyweight is on the poster. So, using Sam's name value... And we put it on a thumbnail because no one knows the two gentlemen that are uh, competing in the main event. But we'll watch it anyway. We'll have a little fun. How many people in the chat are actually watching along with us? How many? I mean, you got to be pretty hardcore. You have to be a hardcore MMA fan or maybe just a Sam Alvey fan uh, to be actually watching this event too. B2FC. It's, you know, you know, it is what it is. It's not... It's nothing to go crazy over. You know, you gotta, you gotta be a legit hardcore degenerate like myself to be consuming this. I'd probably be watching this even if I did not have this channel, just to see how Sam does, you know? Mm, did you another collaboration with Bellator and Risen? Oh, did you see another? Oh, is there an, oh, the, uh, is that the AJ McKee one? Is that what Ryzen 2? Is that, is that? With Ryzen, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We got some more. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> it's a... <laughs> so it's in like a like a hangar. Let's listen to it. I have it in the background. They're not gonna do shit. Oh my god! Here, check this out. It's is it daylight? I guess it's daylight still over there, or is it just really bright? This guy's very happy to compete. 
Okay, let's go. Let's watch some fights. So I'm gonna have like the sound in the background. I don't, I really don't think they're gonna fucking bother us. But go to Fight TV. We have a link in our live chat if you'd like to watch along with us. So who is this guy? So who is this? I don't know who I'm looking at. There's no graphic. I, I, this might be a jujitsu thing. Yeah, I think this is like a, a grappling match coming up. Oh man, there's a lot of preliminary fights on here. I hope I didn't start this too early. Because I'm not fucking reacting to all these fights. This Asian guy looks very serious. Uh, <laughs> you gotta see this guy. This guy's like really fucking serious. This guy's in business. Let me check this guy out. This guy's all business. All business over there. Okay. Yeah, he's he's ready. He's ready. Very serious. I don't know what fight this is on the card. I don't even know if this is the main card. I have no fucking idea. There's no pictures. All right, Jari L. Dude, is is that like Jarrell? Are they? Are, is he Superman? Jari L. Okay, cool. It's the main card. So six fights. Okay. Jari L versus Ben Merritt. That's where I am right now. In case you give a fuck about this card, Jari L versus <laughs> Ben. Oh my god, dude. Uh, where do I watch B2FC? It's on um, Fight TV. So we have a we have a link in the live chat with a promo code. You get like ten ten dollar credit or something like that if you use our code. So and we get a ten dollar credit as well. We get no money from it. We just get credit. So I watch these through the credits we accumulate. If you'd like to purchase this nonsense, that's lit. It's called B2FS. I don't know, they're calling it B2FC, but maybe it is B2FS, I don't fucking know. Oh, it says B2FS on the mat. But on, hold on. So funny, Sam Alvey was calling it B2FC, so that's why I titled it, but it's B2FS. I gotta retitle this. B2FS. So we got some grappling going on right now. I'll give a shit when Sam fights. Okay, here we go. Thank you for the update. I had no idea. <clears throat> B2FS. All right, guys, hit the like button because this is this is pure this is pure degenerate activity going on right now. So, who do we got here? Let's see, Jar Jari L. <laughs> Versus Ben Merritt. They don't even have the names on the screen. Jariel's the black guy. Ben Merritt is uh, Harold. It's like uh, kind of like Harold and Kumar going on right now. KC with the gifting strap. <laughs> KC, let's go. Even gifting on a phone stream. I appreciate that. Muchos gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, KC. So, Lil Seal, let me ask you, since this is going to be an intimate stream... The time stamping, how the fuck do you do? Like, we're done streaming. Are you writing it down as we go along? Because it's it's super impressive. I've never seen anything like it. Like, we're, we're done streaming. I look in the comments and bam, he's got the time stamps and he's like legit, like he's got it. He must be taking notes. Dude, you're the fucking man. I appreciate that. That is like ridiculous. There's a reason why that man's got a wrench next to his name. He's a fucking, he's a G. Jariel got control over the head. Let's see. Can Jariel collect a submission here? He's looking for the choke. Now he grabs the leg. Tangling up. Grappling action going on right now. I, I don't mind watching the grappling. I just got to be honest with you. Like, There's really not much play-by-play -play to do with the grappling matches. I mean, it's more of a visual thing. So I'll, I'll let you know the outcomes. The degeneration of humanity. That is what we are witnessing right now. Jariel, complete control right now and domination as their Avastale mate. 
Ben Merritt's trying to get his ass back up. Jariel's just tangling him up. So the first fight of the main card, a grappling issue. Oh, Ben Merritt inside the guard! Oh my god! Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine we got hired to to call some grappling matches and I'm just over the top calling? Like what's going on? Ben Merritt! Look at the pass the guard! Can he get it? Slips over, attacks the leg, and Jari's back up! They're both back up to the feet! Both fighters resetting! They're grappling! Jariel pushes off, then resets back to the middle! Merritt collides and grabs, they tangle and separate again! Jariel grabs the back of the head! Merritt grabs the back of the head as well! They push off each other! I always like when in grappling exchanges, my neighbors probably think I'm fucking nuts. I always like in grappling exchanges, like we're in wrestling, where they're hunched over and they're slapping each other on the back of the head like two Quasimodos going at it. It's kind of fucking dopey. Like if you're in a real street fight, that's not happening. <laughs> like the Quasimodo grab that they do, like they're gonna, like they're fighting for the right to, to, to fucking pull a rope and make a bell bang back and forth. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm sorry if I insulted any grapplers, wrestlers, jujitsu guys. It's just a dumb thing. It's so dumb to, like, if you're just casually watching this and you have no idea what the fuck you're watching. <laughs> grabbing the fucking back of the head. Like, when does that ever come? When do you ever utilize that in life? <laughs> <laughs> when do you, you never utilize that? Like, what kind of skill is that? <laughs> oh my god. I always laughed when I saw that. Alright, so they're down to the ground here. Merritt is on top. And Jariel's trying to attack a limb. He's looking for. Oh, he's over the leg! Come on, Jari. Get it. Come on, Jari. Rip that fucking leg. Alright, anyway. What else is going on? What's up? This is my new studio. You don't like it? With my tin can audio? This is it, baby. The reason why I don't do a, an actual like lapel mic for this is because of the donation alerts. Like you can't, if I have that hooked up, then I don't know how to route the audio back into the phone for donation alerts. So you kind of get shitty audio like this, but it's a different look, you know? No fancy graphics, just just my stupid head. <clears throat> it's all about timing and leverage. I get, listen. I get the sport. I understand why they're doing it. I'm just saying, when does that come into play in real life? Like for real, like, like I, it's it's combat, right? But <laughs> like, when do you see two fucking people on the street or a bar fight or anything like anything in real life where people are like, all right? They grab the back of your fucking head. No, they're fucking they're throwing punches and kicks and they're trying to grab a leg, grab an arm, you know? Set it up. That weird ass Quasimodo. <laughs> someone tries to do that, you just fucking put a knee in their head. Like, wait, someone tries to grab the back of my head, you fucking uppercut. I mean, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. Uh. <laughs> slap someone into a ditch when you're beating up your father that actually happens a lot uh, you want to take a man down slap him behind his ear yeah that, that will work we'll just fucking kick him in the nuts fucking stomp on his knee they're tangled up Jariel's going for the leg he's twisting on the foot Jariel's doing a really good job of just tangling up You know what's weird to me? Asian people with mustaches. It's fucking creepy. I feel like Asian people should not wear mustaches. There's certain things that certain nationalities should not do, and Asian people should stop at the mustache. It just doesn't look right. It's really bizarre looking. The full beard, sure. But the mustache? Does anyone else, one's in the chat if you find that creepy. And if you're Asian with a mustache in the chat, I mean, all right, maybe you could pull it off, but I've never seen one that could actually pull it off. It's not, it's not easy to pull off the mustache. That's why I don't have it. Yeah. 
Uh, when does it come into play uh, in leverage in the present moment, uh, Pam 100% reality? So, fuck you, what kind of language are you talking? He got more entangled uh, than uh, Jada Pinkett. <laughs> He's a savage. You have a nice beard. You have nice beard jeans. I do, I do. I, I gave a little dye today, too, so, you know, you got the dye going in here. I would look way better. Look at the difference. Like, this is terrible. Terrible. Light. This is like photography. This is a big photography. No, 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 what I'm doing. If I were to. Like, if you go like this, look how much more pleasing to the eye this is, right? Get the natural light. Even though it's still not. I still got like this flush look. But it looks better. I go over here and instantly, like, it's like dramatic and I look fucking 10 years older. But you go over here. And then it blows out the, the wrinkles and the lines, and I look a little bit better, you know? Why isn't the TV in the aesthetically pleasing light? Instead, it's... And look, the, the eyes, it brings out the color in the eyes, and it's, it's a gorgeous look. You know? It's, 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 a, it's a gorgeous look like this. I, if I'm like this, like, women would be getting soaked right now. Gay men would just want to be blowing me right now. But I go like this, and it's just like, oh, it's a hideous man. It's fucking stupid. But the TV's up there, so you have to deal with hideous man. You know, that's what you gotta deal with. I gotta be honest with you, this first uh, grappling exchange on the card is hot trash. They just fucking tangled up on the mat. I would imagine Kalel is winning. Jarrell? Oh, shit. This is Jesse's cooking with JBN uh, camera mount, and uh, it's malfunctioning. There we go. There's a malfunction. Okay. You gotta see this, hold on. This is like the air, the, uh, the outside, the wide view. Oh, hold on, oh, there's a winner. All right, Jar L won. Jari Chokeman L for the dub. Congrats, Jari L, and he's become a blue belt from this. There is no submission, nothing happened. I guess more attempts. So there you go. You know, maybe what I'll do is when the kids start competing, maybe I'll do a fight buddies to my own kids fight and start making fun of everybody. Okay, here we go. Dude, what the, what kind of mount did she buy? This is the worst mount I've ever used. It's a terrible mount. Okay, here we go. Jariel. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, congratulations to Jariel. <clears throat> Catch up on what you guys were saying. Yeah, Blue Belt, congrats, man. This guy that's walking in now looks like he could be related to um, Alexander Gustafson. Jiu Jitsu! Good for him. Hurry, tell her that. Amazon. Yeah, probably Amazon. Connor versus Chandler. Who takes it? I think Connor is done. Brew, I think Connor is going to go in there and take Michael Chandler's fucking head off. I think he's going to take his head clean off. He's going to take it off of that fucking that big muscular Chandler fucking neck. He's going to just knock it right off. Shin to the side of the head. And boom! <laughs> But the Ultimate Fighter is starting very soon, so we'll analyze the Ultimate Fighter and we'll come to a, a clear and accurate prediction. Dustin versus Justin prediction. Uh, Dustin Poirier bet the house. On, even though uh, I think uh, this fight is going to be a little bit more of a competitive match because Justin has, uh, he's smarter now, like he fights a lot smarter. Um, this guy got a Batman shirt on. This guy's got a really tight Batman hybrid, like Captain America shirt on. But yeah, Dustin Poirier. It's kind of boring, right? I'm picking Dustin. I feel like he's gonna be the favorite. It's not fun picking the favorites, but yeah, Dustin should be a lock. I would I, honestly, I'd be shocked if Gaethje wins, and I pick Gaethje over Fiziev. So nothing against. Gaethje, but Dustin Poirier is a little bit higher. 
Does anyone think Gaethje's winning? What's up with this? No, it's not working. There we go. All right, so the next fight is Frankie Williams versus Skylar Kim. King, excuse me. King is from Georgia, so he's got the home field advantage. So are these all grappling now, matches? It seems like... Dude. Oh, guillotine. Here we go. Oh, he didn't get it. So Frankie Williams almost got king in the guillotine early. We're the second fight of the main card. A lot of grappling going on. Which I didn't know. I thought this was going to be like a little MMA. Who wins the rematch, Volk or Islam? I go Islam. I know a lot of people thought Volk won the first one. But I'm going to stick with Islam. I feel like Islam makes a couple adjustments. Smiling Sam just mentioned me in the story while I was taking a, uh, while sitting on the toilet. That's very nice. Smiling Sam, you should be getting ready for your fight. If you check out Smiling Sam's story right now, it's me sitting on my toilet and showcasing Kainoto's art. So like I said, if you guys send art, it's going to be up somewhere. So go to Smiling Sam's Instagram, go check out his stories, and you're going to see me sitting on the toilet right before his big fight. He thought enough to put me on his story, and I appreciate that, Smiling Sam. That's why we're going to root for you tonight. Okay. If you don't believe me, go to Smiling Sam's story and go check it out. You'll find me on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> little, seal, little seal's on it, baby. I think Gaethje might win this time. For many reasons, it'll be a close match. Okay. So you're picking Gaethje. Okay. I think it will be closer, yes. Um, but no, I don't think he wins. I got fight credits. Roberto. Roberto just used my link. Hernandez, is that you? I just got the alert. Thank you, Roberto. I appreciate that. See, like when you when you get the UFC pay-per-views through our links, or if you get Fight TV, that means a lot. It does. You should just have uh, seen how much uh, I talked to Sam about you. Is it you, Jay Smith? Someone's harassing him. <laughs> keep doing it. Do it to all the fighters. Just just spam MMA holes love you. Just keep harassing them. They're doing a little Three Stooges action. You know, when they're sideways on the ground like, hey, Mo, and they put their legs and they're spinning around. This dude is in trouble, man. So Frankie Williams is just dominating. Just dominating. Going for all sorts of submissions, trying to go for the choke again. Come on, Frankie, get it. Tie it up, baby. That's what he gets for wearing that super tight Batman shirt. Uh, depends on how much Islam walks around, walk around weight is. Yeah, so I, I do have, I have Islam in the rematch. I think Islam wins. Here's my prediction. <laughs> the winner of Charles versus Benny will fight Islam, okay? And then um, Conor McGregor will fight Chandler, take his head clean off after he gets in the, the USADA testing pool. And then uh, Islam will win. He'll defeat either Benny or... I'm getting an update. And then Connor, after he beats Chandler, will take out... He'll take um, Islam Makachev's head and then become the champion. The 155 champ once again. Connor McGregor on top. Ole, 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 ole. Thank you. I kept uh, telling Sam every post he did that the MMA holes will be watching. Dude, you're the man. You're the man. You're the fucking man. Yeah, I love that. Do it Do it to um, any UFC fighter out there. Just say, yo, the MMA holes love you. The MMA holes will be watching. You know, just, just, just spam that shit. It's hilarious. Fans use unfair criteria for Dagestani fighters like Islam. Uh, they can't have a close fight without fans calling it a robbery. Um, it looks like Roberto just bought his first event. Thank you, Roberto, man. Appreciate. It. I'm getting alerts from Fight TV. Anyone using that link, I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't think there was. I hate the term robbery. Is I feel like people just use it for every single fight. It's, it's annoying. Like it, there's always a robbery. Everything's a robbery. I feel like there are true robberies out there. We should concentrate on those rather than say, oh, a close fight's a robbery. A close fight is a close fight. A robbery is a robbery. They're very different things. I never understood why 
It's been going on for a long time. Uh, wait, I was watching a short earlier of another MMA channel and they banned uh, somebody from mentioning your channel in the chat. <laughs> wait, who? Whose channel? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Are you serious? Sam was uh, cool about it and then commented back saying thank you. Sam's a great, Sam is a great guy. He's been on the show multiple, multiple times. So Sam, Sam is the best. You know what you should do? You should, um... <laughs> you should uh, Sadiq Youssef um, he stopped jumping in our chat but Sadiq Youssef unfollowed us on Twitter so anything that he posts or up to, uh, uploads say just say why did you unfollow the, the MMA holes on Twitter just everyone should just say that why did you unfollow the MMA holes on Twitter mm -hmm. MMA guru yeah I don't think he banned anyone for saying MMA holes that's not, that doesn't seem like him. Robert equals a split decision wins. Um, now for any and every MMA casual. That's not true. A split decision doesn't automatically mean a robbery. Doesn't mean that. A robbery is when the scoring is very suspect. You know, when you when you look at the scoring and, and you're like, wait, hold on a second. That makes no fucking sense. There, there are still people out there that don't understand what a um, a draw is. What, like, what is the criteria for a draw? They, they see by split decision, like they're just confused of judging how judges score fights. They, they don't realize it's three judges, it's three rounds. You know, it's a ten point system. Like people just say, ah, it should be a draw. It should have been this. It should have been that. And they're not even thinking about, you know, the criteria. Some people who were hating on uh, and underplaying Volk's win against Max because Max was the fan favorite are the same fans who are hating on underplaying Islam's win. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Um, there was one of the wins. I, I scratched my head. I thought Volk won um, over Max. But um, then Volk redeemed himself to the point where there was no debate. And I think... In a rematch with Islam versus Volk, I feel like Islam pulls away from the debate. I, that's that's what I think. Nothing against Volk. Volk is very good, but I think Islam can make the adjustments to pull away in in a, in a repeat fight. Mm. Jones versus Gus, GSP versus Condit, Hamza versus Burns. Jones Gus, the first one, was close. It was very close. Uh, GSP versus Condit, yes. That was close. Kamzat versus Burns. That was close as well. So O'Malley versus uh, Piotr Jan. Um, very close fight. So fucking close. And in a rewatch, you know, I, like I understand both arguments. When people are saying robbery with that, how the fuck do you call a robbery when, it, when it's, it literally is like splitting hairs to get the decision? Either way is right. If either answer is the right answer, either decision is the right answer, um, it's not a robbery. It's just a close fight. You know? And it's true. Hamza versus Burns, I think I think Hamza won. But if it did go the other direction, I would have never said it was a robbery. You know? So it's it's silly. It really is. like, And I think it's an unnecessary argument that, that fans have. You know? It's about educating the viewers. So there's less argument and more love. I'll send you a link. Uh, you might recognize something. Wait, a link to what? Send it. Uh, what are we talking about? The pendulum could swing either way. Exactly. 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 It's so true. It's so true. What did Seals? What is? What is he sending? Let's see. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> fun fact, we don't hate each other. That's that's a fun fact. There is there is no there is no actual there's no actual beef between the two. But it is fun to lean into it every once in a while. It is fun. 
Is that a monkey in the background? Yes. That is a monkey. That is a monkey in the background. <laughs> that is. Hi, I'm Mayholes. Who do you think should fight Edwards for the belt? By the way, there was a fight that just happened. I don't know who won. Listen, I'm just here for Sam. I don't give a fuck. He was grappling. I'm assuming... I'm assuming the guy that won was um, Frankie Williams. Let me know if I'm wrong. Anyway, back to the question. Who should fight Edwards for the belt? Do you want me to... Do you want me to say who I, sh who I believe should fight? Or my troll answer? What would you like? Because... Honestly, I think I think Bilal deserves it. I do. I, he, he, even for the reason, like if you look at the win streak, you look at what he's done, he's coming in on short notice. Um, even the first fight with the eye poke and the foul to stop the fight. So a, a rematch is due at some point. I do, I, I think Bilal deserves it. But as a fan, right, what's gonna be more interesting leading up? It's gonna be Colby. So that's that's my answer. Imagine Colby beating Islam, uh, Israel, and Edwards, then being a three-time champ. I mean, you never know, right? That'd be hilarious. Uh, Bilal has shown improvements. I think he will get the job done. Yeah, dude, Bilal's at AKA right now. He's with, he's with Habib. Habib's there, too. There's some pictures showing up. Cain Velasquez. Um, I think Daniel Cormier might be even a little in the mix. I don't know. But, um, yo, Bilal is taking this very serious. He is surrounded by the right fucking people. And I got to be honest with you. I might have to say Bilal might be a lock to get the belt at some point. It, it might it might be, man. Whether you like it or not, Bilal might be that guy. And I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate Bilal being the champ because I like the fact that he is he's very active on his social social in a way where he he really does interact with the fans and he has his show and he, he does like he does openly try to be um an engaging fighter. Maybe you might not like his sense of humor. Maybe you might not like his fight style or, or the way he looks. I don't fucking know. But um, it could be a, there could be way worse champs than Bilal. Do I want Bilal as a champion? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I think Colby as a champ is, is more fun. But I wouldn't hate. I'd rather. Let me put it to you this way. I'd much rather Bilal Muhammad as a champ than Leon Edwards. I would take Bilal any day over Leon. Because at least the hate, like at least there's juice in some way. The hate is there. So there's things to talk about. You know, Leon Edwards, I couldn't give two fucks as a champ. He doesn't do anything for me. The dude, the dude's the worst. I think Leon Edwards is more boring than Bilal on the mic. You know, as a fighter, Leon's very good. Nothing against the UK, man. It's just, you know, just as a, a fan that just is selfish. Who do you think Brian Ortega should fight next since he's been gone for a while? I'm not a T-City fan. I've never been. I've always been anti-T-City. So next, I couldn't give a fuck. I just hope he loses. He's too pretty. You know, he drives me nuts. The ladies love this guy. And it makes me, I just, I root against him all the time. And it's probably because he's so good looking. Bilal looks like a mutant. <laughs> he looks like a mutant. Uh, I like Colby since he's more entertaining. He is. He is. 20k to build a website. Uh, what are you smoking? Uh, contact any developer that is looking to. Once you see the the website is put together, you're gonna understand what we put it towards. The plugins that are being put in place for this website. You. This is not Wix like copy and paste bullshit. This is not hey Chat GPT. This is like okay, we need a fucking in intricate system to pull together information on a regular. So, yes, it's unfortunately it's fucking $20,000. So deal with it. Uh, and, and then you know what? What's your name? When a website's launched, I'm not going to let you come in for free. I'm not going to let you do it now because you're questioning. No, I'll let you in. You're going to keep uh, getting Jess uh, pregnant until pee, pee No. Two and done. Liam's not boring, y'all. He's just a little old-fashioned. Not his fights. Not him as a fighter. I don't find him boring as a fighter. I find him 
unlistenable in an interview. Like, he sounds like Daffy Duck. Oh, we got a fight going on. Uh, this All right, so TJ Spires versus Toby P. And then I can put the camera around where it's a little better scenario. We'll walk around. We'll do some stuff. But, um, okay, so this is the fight before Sam Alvey's fight. TJ Spires, Toby P. Ah, who gives a fuck? I'll just pay attention to Sam. Uh, I want him for free. Well, everyone on the website will be it'll be free. So the 20k that we're we're looking to develop this website. Here's the plan. I'll give you the marketing plan. We're looking to develop this website. We're looking to get as much traffic to this website, and there will be traffic because it's free, and it's gonna be something you guys are gonna use a lot. Um, and then that traffic number we're gonna sell to sponsors, and because of ads, we'll be able to fund a lot more things. We'll create more jobs through the MMA holes. This over here is a game changer in so many ways and you guys win more than any of us you guys win more because the more money we get for this the more the website you know moves forward and we can hire people and do more things and give you more content so let's go this is not this is not your run of the mill talking head mma youtube channel it might be that right now but i promise you i promise you we're always five steps ahead of the game always five steps ahead youtube is not the all end. I'm going to take super chats and, and that's how I'm going to fucking support my family. There's no fucking stability in that. This is the future. Uh, and also, we're looking to have creators on this channel as well. We're looking to have like multiple shows on this channel, not just myself, not just Jesse. We're looking to have other creators have their shows showcased on our channel as well. Like, we're looking to make a whole fucking network. Uh, anyway, would you like me to call this fight? Okay, I'll call this fight. Here's the problem, guys. There's no fucking names on, names on the screen. I don't know who I'm looking at. We got Graham, we got, uh, not Graham, we got P versus Spires. There's no pictures. There's one guy with a receding hairline. Actually, they both have receding hairline, so it's tricky. There's one with blue gloves, one with red. Does anyone know which one is which? Because... You know, putting a graphic on the screen would break the bank, apparently, in Georgia. But the round is, there's not even a, t there's not even a clock on the screen. I don't understand. If I could put a clock on the screen on a shitty YouTube channel by myself, and you have a full production team there, and you can't fucking put a clock on the screen, or oh, Ricky Mc... Is that his name, Ricky? No. I don't know who the fuck I'm looking at. All right, the round's over. Damian Douglas. What am I looking at? This is a preliminary. F oh, they're, re they're replaying a fight? Dude, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. This is a preliminary fight. Who cares? Listen, when Sam fights, you'll know exactly what's going on. They're showing a... I don't know if there's a replay or what. Like, we went from the main card to the preliminaries. We're bouncing all over the place. Yeah, so so this fight happening right now... Dude, this is so weird. So this is Ricky McConnick versus Damian Douglas. This is a preliminary fight. I'll let you know who wins. I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay, hold on a second. So Ricky got popped with a nasty right hand. He's inside the guard. Who's the other guy? So Douglas is the man doing the damage. He's on side control, Douglas. Ricky, oh, man, Ricky's in trouble. Ricky's right arm's pinned, and Douglas is looking to land down the hammer. Damn, he got popped. All right, we're away from the grappling stuff. Now it's getting interesting. So Douglas going for Kamora. Let's see. Get it, Douglas. Get the Kamora. Here we go. Douglas is about to get it. He's got the nuts on the face of McCormick. Balls on the chin. And he's ripping for that. He's ripping for that Kamora. He still can't get it, man. Oh, here comes the tap. He wants to tap. So damn it. That almost looked like a tap, but he grabs his ass instead. He doesn't tap. He grabs his ass. And McCormick stays alive. 
McCormick stays alive. Now left hands are pounding on the side, on the top of the head. Left hands over and over again. Douglas is going ham. I have no... Oh, here, there's a clock. There's a clock. There's a sighting of a clock. 135. They heard me. The MMA gods have, have just... Oh, beautiful. Thank you. We're in round number two, 128 on the clock. Douglas is still on top. He's got half uh, side control. It looks like he's going to go back to the Kamora. So Douglas versus McCormick. Oh, Douglas just mounted him easily. Oh, McCormick is eating him left and right. Th 113 left. Whoa! Oh, shit, man. So Douglas almost got... Lost a limb there as McCormick was attacked from the bottom and then Douglas rested back onto side control. McCormick is trying to tie up the arms of Douglas, but Douglas sitting on side control. McCormick might survive this round now. I hate that the names aren't on here. Douglas hit with some lefts right on the forehead. He's tying up both arms. More lefts are coming in, trying to make it real uncomfortable for McCormick. McCormick. Uh, I think McCormick's going to survive, though. Oh, mouthpiece fell out of McCormick. Now punch his teeth out. The ref picks up the mouthpiece. McCormick's eating some more left hands with no mouthpiece. The ref is, is bent over, holding the mouthpiece in his hand as lefts are raining down by Douglas. Douglas is letting him go, and McCormick is eating him on the forehead some more. 13 seconds left in the round, and Douglas is still pounding down. The ref tries to put the mouthpiece in, and he gets swiped away. Okay, gonna go to round number three. There it is, guys. Okay, sorry, got a little, got a little caught into the action there. Okay, then so I just checked the thumb in the ass. I'm going to take uh, the fake newsman's head off and I'm gonna bounce his head off the canvas. Hamza would bounce your head off the canvas, Colby, if you were to fight him. Colby versus Hamzad. Listen, 170 may get Kamaro versus Hamzad Shemaev. Let's see it happen. Let's see who wins that fight. We'll take it from there. If Usman gets it done against Hamzad Shemaev, Usman is right there again. He's right there. You know? Why don't you all acknowledge that, though? Usman had so many eyes on him, uh, but nobody said anything until after the third Leon fight. I think I might, I might have missed something. That would be sick. Imagine Hamza versus Israel. Make it happen, Dana. All right, so we're going into the third round. Oh, I've seen this. I think I've seen this ref before. This guy looks very familiar. All right, so we're in the third round here. Douglas versus McCormick. All right, when it gets crazy, I'll tell you what's going on. I, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I gotta, we got to talk to the chat, okay? we got things to do here. Usman should have retired after the second loss to Leon. He did go out on a KO and got another big payday. I don't know, man. I look at it like this. Usman, yes, he's getting older. Yes, he's got bad knees. By the way, Douglas got another takedown of McCormick inside the guard. Um... Let's see one more. Now this could be a mess. Usman could go in there against Hamza and Hamza could annihilate him, and then you could be correct. But if Usman beats Hamza Chimaev, he'll make you eat your words. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. But then again, like I said, I've never liked Colby. What's with the organic setup? I just wanted to show off my monkey, and then later I'm gonna pet it. We got Sam Alvin fighting tonight in Georgia. So a little uh, different setting with terrible lighting. I want to see Canelo versus Connor. No, you don't. No one wants to see that. Unless you want to see Connor die. Hamza beat Uzman at 185. That might happen. If Uzman takes Hamza at 185, I don't want to see that. I would rather see it at 170. To even the lay the playing field a little bit. Why would the fuck go up and fight a Hamza with a fuller belly? Behenku really, he's all right. Uh, there's a lot of guys at 185 would rather see Hamza fight. Yes, I agree. If you got to fight Usman at 170, if not, I'm not gonna fucking watch. No, I won't. 
I want to see Hamza smash Goldie's face in in the cav canvas. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't hate Kobe, but that would be hilarious if Hamza just beats the fuck out of him. I, Hamza beating the fuck out of anybody is hilarious to me. I don't know why. I have no idea. I think for the people that are just anti-Hamza, it's just so funny watching him just run through people. But Gilbert Burns, you know, he did his thing. Hamza ragdolled uh, Holland, who's a 185-er. Imagine what he'd do to Colby. That's different. Although, you know, Holland does have a ground game, but not like Colby. Dude, that fight is it is pretty wild to think about. I don't think Colby wants that smoke, man. We've been saying that for a while. Oh, speaking of ragdoll, Douglas with another big takedown. It'll say Douglas is going to win this match. All right, so three are in the books. And this dude looks like, he looks like Borat. Ricky Mc, McConic? McConico? McConico, to me, the two rounds that I paid attention to, for the most part. Looks like McConico got the L. He's a wild man. Watching it would have been funny. Would have been a good, honestly, for Nate. I'm glad they saved uh, Nate versus Hamza. Shafkat versus Hamza would be interesting. Ricky McConaughey versus Damian Douglas. Thank you, Will Seal. That is the fight that we have found ourselves watching. They want. Oh, they're going to put a belt on him. I guess they're going to put a belt on him. I don't know. Anyway, if you're just jumping in, we're watching... Uh, What's this called? B2FS. Sam Alvey's going to be fighting at heavyweight. And he posted me on the toilet on his uh, story. So that's a good man right there. That's, that's a man I have to root for. What kind of phone is this? It's a really broken phone. It's the Note and it's dirty. Um, it's the Galaxy Note. Let me just get the official decision. Oh, I have a conversation for you guys in a sec. This guy looks like he might be a little roided up though. Douglas, you, want, you might wanna fucking make this guy piss in a cup real quick. Douglas got some, he's got some, he's got some very suspect muscles. I don't believe they're all natural. <laughs> Douglas for the win. Congrats, big man. Look at him. He's like, yo, put the belt on me, man. My pants are gonna fall off. Congrats, Douglas. Congrats, buddy. Look at that look at that view over there. What a what a place to fight. Sam Alvey moves from the octagon to the fucking airport. I don't know where the fuck that is. That looks like JFK. Like the JFK food court. <laughs> <laughs> He's fighting at John F. Kennedy, Kennedy Airport. Okay, there we go. Only people that have visited that airport would get that joke. It's in Georgia. How many more till Sam Alvey? I don't know. Like, this was supposed to be on the main card, and then... I mean, this is a preliminary, and I don't know what I'm watching. All right, Chris, someone... It's about to enter now. Chris. Chris Nut Corn Nut? What is his name? Chris. Christopher Corn Nut. Yeah, so I guess the. Dude, I, this is the prelims. Chris Corn Nut versus Chance Crosby is coming up next. All right, how many people are watching along with, with us? Uh, hope Gilbert bounces back. I want to see him fight Jeff Neal and win. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. He's another one, Jeff Neal. I can't get. I can't root for the guy. I don't know why. I can't root for Jeff Neal. Why? Why? Why do I not like Jeff Neal? He's a good fighter. Maybe because he spe spells his name Geoff. I just got out of the mental hospital, guys. They tried to keep me longer, but I got out. Glad to be hanging with the boys. Congratulations. Welcome. I look very sweaty. I need something to counterbalance. 
Hold on a second. It's getting dark out here. Okay. I gotta figure out what I wanna, what, what's my poison for tonight. So we're gonna have a little alcohol. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't had scotch in a minute. Maybe a little, I don't know, bourbon? I haven't drank in a while. Or maybe I'll just, I'll gummy it. I don't know, what should I do? How does this work? I just want to be outside today, to be honest with you. All right, let's see how this, this is Jesse's, oh. That's the light as it goes. Why does this doesn't work? This thing is not bright enough. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Okay, we got a little more light. Just to fill it out a little. Fuck, man. It's not very, uh. Alright, whatever. It's a little brighter. I don't fucking know. Alright. My bougie setup. Got two tickets to paradise. All right, anyway. Smoke some reefer. Body shots off a damn sausage. Body sausage, shots off a sausage. Whoa, this guy is, he's a hybrid of a human being. He's like a, he's like a black ginger. That's, that's like a mythical creature right there. It's Chris Cornut. Chris Cornut, yeah. Pretty cool looking. He's a cool looking dude, man. Oh my God, look at this guy. God. Oh my God, what is that? What the fuck? Oh my God, what the fuck? What are those? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is going on? What the hell is going on here, guys? Oh my God. Get flagged for that shit. That was a guy, by the way. Don't, don't, don't do anything there. What are those? Sorry, I put the kids to bed. I don't know what the hell I just showed you guys. Oh, he's got some nice titties. That guy got some real nice tits. All right. That, that light is nothing. Remember, we're gonna have stats screen. Nah, bro, you're not gonna have shit on this. Oh my God, tits is getting lit up. Tits is getting lit up. Chris is just unloading against the fence, man. Yo, how tall is this guy? He's a mutant. All right, so Chancy Crosby is 25 years old. I don't know how tall he is. Doesn't doesn't say on Tapology. But Chris uh, Cornut, Cornut just got the takedown. He's in side control. Chance Crosby. So Crosby is he's very tall. Very strange shaped human being. A very unique combination of fighters here. Digging it. Wow, Chris got the mount. Cornut looking to get it done with the left and right hands. Come on, Chris Cornut with the right hand. Listen to these commentators here. Chris Crosby 
is good, man. I've seen him like his stand-up's good. I've seen him fight for other promotions. Yeah, he's a dog, man. He really is a dog. Yeah, I just I know. But I keep saying God, we're so good at what we do. We're so good at what we do, man. Maybe it's a little theatrical, but I mean, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What are they doing? What are these guys doing here? Why fly us over there? We'll make this a way more entertaining. Cornut is just. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Cornut has been flipped around, and the mutants on top. Crosby is looking to pass the leg. Ah, big boy on top. Okay, so Crosby's inside the guard right now. There's a minute. There's a uh, 50 seconds left in the first round. I saw the sign. I should have did a better setup out here. I was just, you know, throwing some shit together. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to deal with the guys. They're both back up to the feet. Coronet's got the underhooks, puts Crosby to the cage. I would love to know what the height difference is. Did anyone get the tail of the tape? The height difference between these two is 22 seconds left in the first round. And Coronet's trying to get the takedown late. But Crosby's so tall, man. Oh, a nice knee to the body by Crosby and a right and left by Cornut. Cornut's it looks like fucking David versus Goliath. Man, holy smokes. This is a good fight. Damn, man. This is a good scrap. All right, round's over. It's a good scrap. I have no complaints about this one. So Crosby versus Cornut. It's bizarrely entertaining. Going into a second round. Haircut looks sharp. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I went to a V's Barbershop. V's Barbershop in Arizona. It's a franchise. Church, her haircut. Thank you, thank you. They sound like they, uh, they fuck their cousins. <laughs> it's, yeah, there's a, there's a strong accent. Jesse's the best commentator. Oh, maybe. Uh, Jesse on fire versus Moss in a death match. What weapons do I get? Tap Tapology has it listed as a prelim, uh, but we saw a main card fight before, so I don't know. Yeah, this I, I'm, I'm thinking this might be the prelims. All right, so round two has begun between Crosby and Cornut. We do need the names on the screen. It just works better. Yeah, there's no heights on Tapology. I was looking for it myself. I was. They probably said it before. I don't know. They, they, they didn't even. Have a, I didn't see a tail of the tape. Oh man, going for an arm bar. Here we go. Cornuts trying to twist on the arm, and Crosby is just dumping him over. Man, good move by Crosby. Man, just kind of flips him over. Goes into half guard from the top, and Crosby looking for a mount. Crosby, he looks like a praying mantis. He's massive. He's got a weird, like ass, lanky. Just like, like he's gonna just fucking bite your head off type body. So Crosby settles inside the guard. Good composure by Crosby. Guy's got the weirdest muscle. He's got like no muscle definition. It's the, it looks like he has atrophy at every part of his body. And breasts. It's really weird. Maybe he's a former fat guy that just lost a lot of weight. And then back up. Cornut gets back up, drills it to the body. Knees are coming in by Crosby. Now Crosby's looking for the neck. Both guys looking exhausted here in the second round. 144 left. Mm -mm. Cornut looking for the takedown. Doubling up on legs. Crosby doing a good job staying on the feet. So Cornette versus Crosby. And Cornette is just landing a couple of right hands. He's got control against the fence. And they're both tired. Right now, Cornette is motorboating Crosby. Those beautiful breasts. Nice knee to the body again. Those knees were brutal by Crosby. Knees to the body, knees to the head. The Muay Thai clinch and Crosby just escorts Cornette to the corner. And oh, another knee. And Cornette just shoots him for two. One minute left and can't get the takedown. So now Cornette has control against the fence. Crosby stuck there with his pants up to his nipples. 
It's got Daisy Dukes. Weird fucking pram. Weird looking dude. Crosby trying to pull for the single. I mean, Cornet. I'm sorry. He's trying to pull for the single. And Crosby defends. Crosby stays on the feet with 40 seconds left in the second round. The titty's just draping over the right arm of Cornette as he's trying to get the takedown. And Cornette's doing every, everything he can, but Crosby rips the knees to the body again. Dude, this guy's eating so many knees to the body. Crosby just drilling him in there. How is Cornette still standing? Now Crosby's going for the guillotine. 15 seconds left. <laughs> this is a pretty good fight, man. I don't know, it's just like a... Just a grinder between the two. Both guys are exhausted. Body shots coming in by Cornet to end the round. I like it, though. I have no complaints. All right, the round's over. No complaints. They're huffing and puffing, but they're leaving it all in there. I'm not saying this will happen, but imagine there's a decision call again for Alvi, and it's bad judging. That would be very upsetting. Oh, my God, dude. I have a feeling, so Sam Alvey, I just found out before this, apparently he's their color commentator for, for this organization. So there's going to be some incredible bias for Sam if it goes through the decision. So I don't think there would be a robbery. But then you never know with the commissions, but I, I have a feeling that Sam's going to have a, uh, he's going to be a big home field advantage. Sam fighting a guy 50 pounds more, like heavier. Pretty wild. That monkey on a cord is dangerous to around kids. They can be attached to the toy and get tangled up with the car cord. That's dangerous. That's pretty high, man. I don't. Then I get. Are you being? Are you joking? All of a sudden, Hamza made his uh, way up to 185, and nobody wants to fight him. Only Uzman. I'll be fighting a, a guy who's 60 pounds on him. It's it, 50. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, so Alvi's fighting a heavyweight. He's, he's making his debut, his uh, return to the cage after the UFC. And um, a special night for Sam. Going up to heavyweight. Koza said he would fight Hamzat at 185. That's true. That is actually true. Yeah, Hamzat, Hamzat don't want Paolo. I mean, I'm not saying he'll never fight him, but I'm, right now it doesn't make sense for Hamzat, right? Too much risk. If Hamzat could finagle his way into like some sort of title shot or novelty fight or whatever, I'm sure he's gonna take that. Cornet is the dog, man. His mouthpiece is kind of just just pushing onto his upper lip, and he's just walking forward, eating shots. Cornet just keeps walking forward, and Crosby throwing the right and left hands to his face. Cornet gives him a nod. There's that knee to the body again by Crosby, dude. The knees to the body that landed. Crosby looks like the freaking aliens from Signs. Oh my god, throw some water in there. If I was Cornette, I'd be like, yo, just douse water on this guy. Maybe he'll just fucking crumble. <laughs> Imagine the commentary team said that. Uh, why do you uh, look so strange? It's the fucking light, man. I showed it before. When the light was this way, I looked beautiful. And this way, you know, it's got all the ugly shadows and shit. It is what it is, baby. You got to deal with it. How much is Sam getting paid? I don't know. But I'll ask. I'm sure he'll say. Sam is getting paid in crypto. Not confirming anything or accusing him. I got the sun behind me right now. It feels horrific. Hamza Duck Coast of Facts. I mean, yeah, you could make that argument. But Hamza is kind of the A-side, you know? He's kind of calling the shots. Paulo Costa doesn't really have that pull. Hamza could basically do whatever the fuck he wants, you know? Did anyone see uh, Buckley saying that he would uh, derail Ian Gary? I would like to see that fight. I would bet on Gary, though. Gary looks very good. KC dropping a super duper chat? All right, let's wait for that to play. Thank you, KC, man. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Come shot, Shemaev. Ooh, that's original. I never heard that before. Where'd you get that? He still moved up to 185, and uh, nobody wanted to fight him. And I looked on Twitter. Maybe I missed something. Yeah, no, Hamzat. Listen, I'm a Hamzat fan. But 
but it's obvious that Hamza doesn't want Kosa. He don't want that smoke. They would make that in a second if Hamza was down. I don't think he wanted that. He says he'll fight everyone, but you know he also has people. Oh, you know, super that chat. Handle him and probably like, don't do it. Set Mike Hunt against the wheel and spin. O-O-E-O. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. Appreciate that donation, my friend. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Supporting this dysfunctional phone stream. Oh, did you see Bisping? <laughs> they got Bisping again. So I never watch any of this stuff. But today I was having a late breakfast and I was scrolling through and I saw Bisping was live. I'm like, oh, let me check it out. So as soon as I do it, I saw him say MMA something. And I was like, wait, what? So I rewinded it. And I was like, what MMA is he talking about, right? And have you heard of MMA fighter blank? They got him to say it again. They got him to say it. So I, I, I recorded it and put it on Twitter. If you didn't hear it, go check out the Twitter. Or our YouTube stories. Michael Bisping got caught. I don't know how he gets caught on those things. Dana said he told Usman he didn't want that fight for him. Which one? The 185, Hamza. Kevin Holland versus Ian Gary would have also been another good matchup. Yes, that is a good matchup. And it could still happen. So this is where uh, lefties go for safe space. Um, Twitter is pretty toxic. Is the marathon. The marathon's happening if we hit the the 12K up here. So you still have a chance. Got to be Streamlabs donations. It's not, if we don't hit that, we're not going to do it. I'm just going to hang with the fam. Are those flowers from Ellie's Mother's Day celebration? Those are fake flowers. I just I just uh, washed them up. So we're gonna find out who won this fight. It's gonna be close. Um, I tell you what, I might give it to Crosby. Those that are watching along, who got it, Cornette or Crosby? We're gonna wait for the decision here. You think Bisping does it for the joke? I don't think so. I think what was it? It was the, the joke was kill all blacks. I don't think he would do that as a joke. Or something like that. Split decision. Here we go. Who got it? Let's listen. That's no real drama. So Chris Cornut gets the win. Congratulations. It could have went either way. But Cornut. Cornut got it done. Shout out to Chris Cornut. What a win. What a win. Epic. Epic win. Epic win at B2 Fight Series. The crowd is just, they're just on their feet. They're going crazy right now. No, they're all sitting. They look like they're all in drugs. This thing is the most overrated champion in UFC history. Most? I don't think Bisping's overrated because does anyone actually look at Michael Bisping and say he's one of the greatest champions of all time? I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's overrated. I think everyone knows what Bisping is. I think even Bisping knows what he is and what he was, right? So I don't think I don't I wouldn't consider him overrated because I don't think anyone who overrates him. Matt Sarah. Well, Matt Sarah, that's another thing, too. Like, no one looks at Matt Sarah as, like, one of the greats. <laughs> you know, Matt Sarah was a very good fighter, you know? He's a good coach, and um, and he beat GSP, which is amazing. Wow, we got lights going. Oh, he's got fancy pants over here, guys. The house lights are on. JFK is just, they just dimmed the lights. Like the great Metallica. Hit, hit the lights. Ambiance here. Look at that. Wow. Bisping is Bisping, yeah. Have never seen anyone say he's a great champion. Yeah. Yeah, to be overrated, you have to be... Like, people gotta be like, oh, this guy is so good, or this guy is so good, and blah, blah, blah. Nice, right? Look at that. What a, what a view. So pretty. I tell you what, it does look different. Like, the ceilings are crazy high. 
but like I, I don't know. <laughs> We're just stuck here. We're just gonna kind of look at this dark area. See what they got planned for us. I guess this means the main card starting. Doing it for Smiling Sam? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's we'll see what they have in store for us. I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh, someone just, someone snuck in. <laughs> this dude snuck in. <laughs> this dude just fucking snuck in without even telling anyone. He broke in. It's a mess. But, it, you know, it's a regional fight. It's on Fight TV. It's no big deal. You gotta wonder, like, I, I, I gotta, I'm gonna ask Sam this. I'm curious, like, when you, when you take a big step down after you just fought in the UFC for so long, right? And you left the UFC and then came back into the UFC. You fought all over the place, and then, and then to, to go back to the regional scene. And I know it's a place that you call fights for, but still, like, I wonder what that does to you mentally. You know, Zachary Ironside. Let's see. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're still on the prelims, guys. So this guy is 2-1-0. He lost his last fight. Won his first two. A decision. And then his opponent is Mirzad or Esan Mirzad. He lost it by submission in his last fight. He is 2-2-0. Afghanistan versus the U.S. This gentleman's from the United States of America. Noble versus Mirzad. Okay. That's all you're getting, guys. Time into that in a sec. I don't want to... You gotta. If you want the goods, click the link in the live chat. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want... Oh, God. The sun's here. I just want to make sure you see that monkey, you know? It's a little hot out here. I'm in the desert right now, guys. I'm in the desert, but I do this for you. Akum no, I, I thought it was JFK Airport. Gandalf. Ultimate Fighter is almost here. Can't wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 do some live streams for it. If if it's weak, I'm gonna bail on that. We've we've. We'll see. It's tough because like when you get the fights to get into the house, it's interesting, and then when you're in the house, it's just a bunch of nonsense until you get to the fights. So man, this, this sun is brutal. Hold on a second. I have to make a, I have to make a move. I'm gonna make a move, guys. The sun's coming in. It's attacking me. It's coming in. All, it's coming in all angles here. Ugh. All right. I got this terrible light, but it's something here. Something's better than nothing. Hit the lights, baby. Hit the lights. And hit the likes, if you haven't hit the likes. We're waiting for Sam, baby. We're waiting for Sam. After this, we'll go inside. We'll have some air conditioning. I'll, I'll fucking cool off. And, uh... <clears throat> we'll open the gifts, actually, that were sent from the peoples that uh, sent in stuff from the registry. I appreciate you guys doing that. It's a nice table. It's a Home Depot special. It's been it's about four years old. Crystal Meth, Florida. <laughs> hit the likes. Hit the likes. Where, where are we at with the likes? With the goalie goals. Set a goal. I don't even know where we're at. 110, all right. Wow, this is starting off quick. Okay, hold on a sec. So Zachary Noble versus Ethan Mirzad. Noble versus Mirzad. I want to see a crazy knockout. That'd be nice. Noble trying, he always pulling for a takedown, and Mirzad looking to make him pay with right hands. Mirzad on top now. Mirzad going to side control. Afghanistan looking to get work done early here, guys. Preliminary action. Tracy Morgan owns Home Depot. Tracy Mor Morgan's loaded now after all that craziness with his accident. I love the snow more. Ugh. I'll sweat. I'll sweat all day over the snow. Do you think O'Malley is the next big star? I personally just don't see it. 
he can cut a decent promo, and uh, he looks like a, gr a great fighter. I think that's what he's saying. A uh, great fighter, though. Um, yeah, I think I think he is a star because, oh man, Mount Mirzad is just he's controlling the ground right now. Uh, Sean O'Malley, I think he will be because he, you know, you got that fucking weird young, like, oh, they're bullying me. Oh, well, my life sucks generation, you know? Like the fucking victim generation, there's a lot of them. And that's right up Sean O'Malley's alley, you know? So if you've been bullied at some point in your life, you're a Sean O'Malley fan. <laughs> so I think he'll, be, he'll do very well. But on the mic, he's cringy as fuck. But I think that's what—that's some of his charm. He's awkward. Like he's okay in his podcast. He's more comfortable. But for some reason, in front of a crowd, when he gets on a mic, he just chokes every time. Well, that one girl is the truth. You know it is. Uh, at least O'Malley isn't boring. I can't. F yeah, that's true. That's true. He's not a guy that's going to lay on top of you. As a fighter, he's very exciting. He is. I like watching O'Malley fight. And I don't hate O'Malley. It's just like his fan base is a little. It's a lot of victims. A lot of people are sugar supporters or that. Man, oh man, Mirzad is doing work. He's just, he's either on the back, he's on the side, or he's mounted. He's got squirming from the bottom. Mirzab is look. he's looking for the kill. Oh, he's going for the armbar. What a slick transition. Ah, oh, shit, Zach twisted the arm and got out of it. Oh, we almost got a first round finish here. Ethan Mirza, but Zachary Noble gets out of it. We go to a second round. I disagree. <laughs> have you been bullied, that one girl? Maybe, you could have. You know, you could be like, oh shit, I was buried. Did they call the fight? Oh, on the stool? Wait a second here. I just saw the arms wave while while my man was sitting on the stool. Let's listen. Yeah, you don't want anyone injured. Nah, other fighters, yes, but not ours. So Zachary got hurt. Damn, Afghanistan finished. Yeah, Zachary's still on the stool, so. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. <clears throat> O'Malley wasn't bullied. I would hundred. I would put. I would bet my whole life savings that he was. I would bet my whole life savings. There's not a doubt in my mind that O'Malley was bullied when he was a kid. Um, and there's nothing wrong. It's not like there's not a knock on O'Malley. I'm just saying I would 100% guarantee it. Colby Covington goes around and and, and talks about being bullied and shit like that. You can tell when someone was like severely bullied. Like even when they talk trash, they start stuttering. You know, they get all uncomfortable and they start stuttering because they don't believe in their trash talk. Colby Covington does that. He has his lines, but then he'll start stuttering sometimes. But that That's like PTSD from back in the day when he was getting shoved into a locker. That's some psychology shit right there. Yeah, Zachary's hurt, man. He messed up his leg. He's getting helped over here. That's nice to see though. His opponent is escorting him. I don't like to stay quiet. You were bullied till 12? Yeah, a lot of people were bullied, man. I had a bully when I was across the street from us. He was fucking annoying. Um, but luckily I wasn't like crazy bullied. I always, I, I was talk, telling the story the other day. What do they call it? What stoppage? Anyway, Mirzad, whatever the hell this guy's name was. Um, I was always smart enough, because I wasn't the, the biggest kid, the strongest kid, the fastest kid, you know, the most, most athletic, the smartest kid. I was none of that stuff. But I was able to make people laugh. So I was always able to get into the click of the bullies. I was always able to find myself in the way, out of harm's way. So I was very lucky in that way. I was able to craft myself and con my way into the right group where they weren't going to fuck me up. So that's my advice. If you, if you're not the bully, befriend the bullies. Colby wants to be chill so bad. Yeah, I think Colby is, is like 
He's taken from a lot of different successful trash talking fighters and is trying to make his own thing with a WWE twist, so. <laughs> when your bully lives in your house, yeah, it's terrible. If you're white and he's black, get him down to the ground and learn. What the fuck? Nobody can compare to Uncle Chael. Uncle Chael is one of the best, for sure. He's hilarious. Undisputed goat. I'm a bully beater. A hero, basically. Uh, what else we got here? How much did you pay for the table and the chairs? I don't know, I guess. I got that off the Home Depot, like, back in the day. Like, when we first moved here, we got that from Home Depot. It's dusty, though. Oh, dude, this sun is... It's, it's following me. You can't escape it. It's creeped around. It's creeped around my awning, guys. I must strategically move myself and get out of this thing before I melt. All right. Yeah, it's going to be shit light, but it's okay. You can you can deal with this, right? So we got a chick fight going on. This is not Eagle FC. Do you think that's why Eagle FC folded? Because they were afraid to have female fighters? They were anti-women? I'm just going to go with that. Mm-mm. Now it got really dark. Ikea Backyard Special. This is Wayfair. That was... Um, that was Wayfair, too. That was Wayfair. Wayfair. Home Depot. We got, I'm a sucker for a deal. We just sprayed the yard, so I think we're scorpion-free. All right, who are the chicks fighting? I can't believe it. So we, like, we're, we're going to be live for the whole card. I apologize for the lighting, guys. Let's see if I go like this. It's like I got to sit, like, right on top of it for, for it to get a little lighter. What was that noise? Who the fuck all right, some chick is in there. What's her name? Champagne? Oh, they said the wrong name? Caitlin? They didn't say the right name. So... Oh my god. They got the wrong name. All right, so Creer versus Nick Dow is next. Nick Dow is 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Creer is 2-2-0. Two, two and oh. All right, listen. I'll let you know what happens. I'll let you know what happens. I'm not going to do play-by-play -play until Sam fights. Thank you, Two Joints. Thank you. It's all right. You know, we moved to Arizona just to fucking get a little breathing room from where, in the box that we lived in. LFA 159 starting now. It's probably going to be a better overall card. We're just here for Sam. So, Creer versus Nick Dow. Coming up next. People always think uh, Polish. Oh, I barely went to the Great Empire. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. A few more uh, bricks and you would have zero grass to cut. We don't have... This is all... This is turf, man. Turf, baby. Surf and turf. I see at least two trees. That's no desert. That is a tree. Right there, that's a tree. That's a, it's a bush. That's a tree right there. There are trees in the desert. Which I gotta be honest, I was I was not sure about either. <laughs> when I came here and I saw trees, I'm like, wait, what? What? I just thought it was just cacti cactus and tumbleweeds and scorpions and snakes. Uh, it sucks we don't live in a legal weed state. Well, there are ways. There's always ways. I'm on vacation, and I wish. What's the temperature? The temperature here is still probably, I would say it's in the high 80s, low 90s. Actually, I have a thermometer out there somewhere. Uh, I do the same thing every time you read uh, my comments. Uh, you're like CNN trying to die. No, you just, I don't know what the fuck you're talking. Like, who gives a fuck what you're saying? 
talk about some fights or, you know, you can talk about nonsense, but just, you know, I don't know stay, stay in some sort of lane. Shane Tame Creer. Creer versus Nick Tao. Nick Tao. Caitlin. The mosquitoes are out now. I'm gonna I might have to move the party inside very soon. So I was just I was just bragging how the mosquitoes aren't here. But they're here. West Nile. West Nile, son. Uh living in Dubai for cheap. Yeah, where's everyone from in the chat right now? This girl's big. So this a BKFC veteran career. Shainton Creer. Yo, which one's which? Okay. They look they look very similar. I can't I can't. I think Creer is the bigger one. Yeah, Creer is the bigger one. Okay. So Nick Tao versus Creer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fucking have the commentary. In the back. I'm too lazy to call the fight. I'm gonna read the chat and have the fucking play by play in the background. I'm on a break right now. You really want to see the ones and twos. Yeah, have a in the background. All right, I'll pay attention to the chat. We'll have commentary going on. We're gonna double dip over here. That's a little too loud. Okay. I'm in a migrant caravan at the border, Florida, Pittsburgh, Indiana, Central California. And I peddled drugs as a kid. No, I was not into drugs as a kid. I do it as an adult. Like, you should do it. You shouldn't do drugs when your body is developing. But I did have alcohol when my body was developing, and I probably screwed a lot of things up. You should stay away from drugs and alcohol as a kid when your body's developing. You should. I know it's tempting, but you should. Because I do feel like the developmentation of your brain and, and everything else is, is compromised by indulging in that kind of stuff. So don't be, a, don't be an idiot. Sorry, at 23? There you go. I bullied people when I was younger. I was uh, six foot at 12. Ha! I dis I, there's no fucking way. Uh, did you see Mark Holman training for his upcoming fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's really it's really sad. Uh, do you guys give a shit about this in the background? Listen, I'm here for Sam. Is there anyone here for any of the other fights? No, right? We're here for Sam. I did see Mark Mark Holman, and I like Mark Holman, but my God. It is sad. <clears throat> I started drugs and alcohol at 12. There are probably a lot of things you're dealing with right now that's that's linked to that. All my friends started uh, 15 years older than me. All my friends who started early look 15 years older than me. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, alcohol was my problem. Alcohol... Like, when I was younger, I fucking, I drank every night, man. I went out every night and got boxed. But I did, I was a late bloomer, like, I don't know. I, I started drinking, nah, probably around 17, 17, 18. Then in my 20s, late 20s, I got really fucking bad. Therapist in the house. No, I'm just saying, listen. I'm saying... From my, my old experience being on this earth, if you're a young man, young woman, stay away from drinking and drugs early because I do believe it's going to fuck you up as you get older. And just like junk food, man. I ate a lot of junk food as a kid. I, I have a feeling a lot of shit's related to that. I want to see Till versus Perry, BKFC. That would be nice. But has that ship sailed? Has that ship sailed? Mike Perry has become the A-side, which is kind of crazy. Hanger over in your 30s are fucking rough. Yeah, dude. It is, man. Right? You used to be invincible. Like, if you're in your 20s and you're hungover, no problem. Although, people hit IVs now. And they rehydrate, and they're good. So, I guess there's ways around it now. My mom cried when she was saw I was stoned. 
Oh wait, she saw I, I, I stoned that I was. I kept telling her it was the salt water. Yeah, I'm, I'm dreading when my kids start wanting to experiment. I'm dreading. I don't. I am not looking forward to that. By the way, chick fight's still going. Weed smokers are the most annoying out of all drug users. Um. Well, I do dabble in weed. I'm getting eaten alive. Give me a second. Let me spray. Here's the problem. When you start smoking weed too early and you, you start doing it every day, all day, like you just don't fucking stop, it does destroy you. It does destroy you. It's got to be in moderation. It does. Because if you do it too much, I like weed, man. I do. But if you do it too much, I do feel like it's, it's going to really fuck you up. I hate mosquitoes. And we got West, we, we legit have West Nile over here. So it's like, dude, get away from me. My whole arm is destroyed. <laughs> I've tried every mosquito repellent. These mosquitoes here are like a mutated version that they just, they don't give up. They don't care. Darren Till, now South African. Hamzat has multiple wives. Uh, Till isn't one of them. Does Hamzat have multiple wives? Is that true? Does he? Is it, is it, is it true? Good for him. But that's a lot of nagging, right? Like, having one wife is enough nagging. Imagine having multiple wives. Like, it seems like a great thing, but it's not. Wow. Shantae cracked her at a beautiful right. Um, but right, one's enough. Why do you want multiple women? There's no, there's no benefit to that. Uh, I got that greasy Italian skin so many yes. fucking glad. Dude, I have greasy. You can see it. The, the Italian in me, it makes me very greasy. It doesn't work. They got some great new things out to keep mosquitoes away. I have like the, the thing, the pad that burns. But then I found out that shit, like, DEET is horrible for you. You're not supposed to breathe that shit in. Then this burning thing that I have that's supposed to be really good, it's, it gives you cancer. And I have the zapper, but the zapper kills everything but mosquitoes. So you hear, like, moths flying into it and flies, and mosquitoes just flying right past it. Mosquitoes are rough, man. Coconut oil? I feel like coconut oil that would attract them. Look at me, guys. Uh, think they're cool. Makes no sense to me. Just stay single and hook up. Save. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you're single, you can come and go as you please. You can do. It. You know what though? But if just hooking up, disease. You know. And there's there's other negatives. So, it's it's a matter of what you want, right? What you, what, what you what you really need in life. Everything gives us cancer. Food. I know it does. It's true. Drink gin and tonic, murderer. D doesn't murder mosquitoes, it repels them. Come on, two joints. You don't put Deed on, they just start... I wish they started dying. I would murder... I would be a, a mass murderer of mosquitoes. I have no problem with killing every fucking living mosquito on this earth. I feel like they bring no benefit to my life. Or anyone else's. Uh, packing your skin with coconut oil must be so uncomfortable. Dr. Berg says, I can't safely eat anything or I'll die. <laughs> Just eat eggs, right? Oh, now I get the, the sun's reflecting off of this window. It's coming at me over here now. Dr. Berg, just eat eggs and stay away from sugar. I thought it wasn't, uh, but there's a video of his brother presenting his wife and their wedding day, walking her out and in Chechen, it's usually the brother of the groom walking out with the bride. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what Hamza's personal situation is. Yo, I see the person that said the thing about the spider, right? Before I went live, we have these spiders here, 
that they, they're like Spider-Man. They shoot web straight. Like, it's, dude, it's fucking wild. They're like this yellowish, clear spider. They're about, like, that big. And they're all over the place. Like, you see these webs, like, in places, like, how the hell is there a web there? And I saw it with my own eyes. I was trying to, I, I save spiders. I save them, I, I relocate them. Because I know they kill the other bugs, right? So I just relocate them. I don't need to kill a spider. And I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. What if it's radioactive and I get superpowers? And then I, you know, I lose. But, um... I had it like crawling on, um, I don't know, I had something and it was crawling on it and I was like, all right, I'm gonna relocate this thing and it fucking took off. It just shot a web across the yard and just fucking started, like it was flying. It was just like soaring through the yard. I'm like, where is it going? How's it doing that? It's literally web slinging. I didn't know if spiders could do that. Shit was like a, it was like Tarzan on the ropes going across. I'm like, what the hell? Dude, that, that was amazing, man. It was an amazing spider. Uh, blacks are bad? Is that... <laughs> blacks are bad? <laughs> You're trying to bisbing me? Blacks are bad? Blacks are bad spiders? Hmm, it's an interesting spider. Uh, ballooning? <laughs> They're a bunch of Spider-Mans. Kind of weird to be honest, the vibes were very strange. Why, why do, um, why do we target the blacks with the jokes? What's that about? Why, why is that? What's the reasoning for this? How come every time it's something, to, like some like weird combined word or a name, like you try to get someone streaming saying something terrible about black people? Why is it, why do we just target black people? What's that about? Why can't why can't we mix it up a little bit? Climate change is the reason. Yeah, we got scorpions. Yeah, they're like they're here. Anthony Kumia calls uh, Call of Duty streams are cool. I fucking can't stand or I hope Anthony Kum, Kum, uh, Kumia, whatever the fuck his name is, I hope he just drops dead. I think he's such a piece of shit. He is a he is the definition of a piece of shit. Like he's just an asshole. That's he, that's his. There's nothing redeeming about Anthony Kumia. He's just a prick. Dude, he is fuck. He is such a cunt. I can't stand that guy. I hated him on Opie and Anthony. I just hate him. Anytime he says something, he's just an obnoxious. He's just obnoxious to. Just to be obnoxious. Not even a character. It's just He's just obnoxious. He's fucking racist. Like, it's just like he's an asshole. <clears throat> yeah, he's... I don't know what the fuck. And now, as he gets older, he's just more grumpy and mean. And, like, I don't know. Like, how do you listen to that guy? I, I want Bill Burr to fucking just drop him. Like, drop kick him the next time he sees him. <laughs> <laughs> How, did you see that mosquito just bounce off my head? That must have been an Anthony Kumia fan mosquito. Who won? Okay. Shantane Creer gets the win. We're just waiting on Sam Alvey, guys. Now I got this light coming in over here. Bouncing off the window. He is. Like, I don't, I'm not one to just say, oh, he's racist, he's racist. Like, people just say racism all the time. Anthony Cumia is just a blatant racist. There's, there's no way around it. He tries to disguise it with his jokes. No, dude, that dude's racist. Uh, since black people are off limits, it makes people want to make jokes. Yeah, you think that's what it is? You think it's... Maybe because black people have the word, right? So white people are rebellion? Rebelling about it? I don't fucking know. So that's how they do it? What's with this music? Feed is live, you were watching B2, so there's some break. So I guess we're, I guess now we're going to the main card. I don't know. As I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. Yeah, Ari is another one. Shafir, yeah, he's another annoying fucking bastard. Comedic racism and actually being uh, racist, uh, way different. Uh, that bit of uh, him harassing that girl on the street is so effed up. Dude, 
Anthony Cumia, I've, I've spoken about this before. He dated a weather girl uh, on Channel 11, Jill Nicolini. And the shit he said about her on air, like, I don't care how bad your relationship is. He's talking about her gravelly tits and her breast implants. And he was just like, just roasting her on air. I'm like, bro, dude, chill, man. Like, just fucking chill. Just publicly just slayed her on air. And I was like, okay, there's something up with this dude, man. And then just like dumb shit after dumb shit comes out of that guy's mouth. <clears throat> yeah, Nicolini got around. She did. You know Jill, Jill Nicolini? Do you remember her? She used to be like the the attractive weather girl back in the day. But she had a weird face. Her face looked like uh, Morton Downey Jr. <laughs> Who's the most annoying UFC fighter currently? Didn't I just mention someone that I, I was not a big fan of? The most annoying, this music is driving me nuts. The most annoying oh, UFC fighter. Aljo's the easy answer. He's too easy. There's got to be one. I know there's a fighter, I just can't, for some reason it's not, it's not jumping in my head. There, I know there's someone, I'm like, oh fuck, this fight, they're fighting. Oh, Misha Tate was one that I could not fucking stand. She's always, she's another victim. Oh, you know who, oh, these two are, aren't even fighting anymore. Um, Megan Anderson, I couldn't stand. Let me pick a guy. I don't want to shit on the girls. But both of them, I couldn't fucking stand them. They, when they got on social media, they said, the, I wanted to vomit. Luke Rockhold is kind of fucking annoying. Um, but UFC fighter. Patty, Masvidal. Yeah, give me, give me some suggestions. Rakic. Yeah, you know what? He is kind of fucking annoying. Patty, I, I get, I understand what he's fucking doing, but, um, yeah, I, I get it. Thank you, Sausage. Yeah, we're going to be opening up some stuff from the registry after the fights are over. You create, you hate Chris Cyborg? Her back and forth with the UFC was annoying, but I don't hate her. I, I, she's one of my favorite, uh, fighters. Who's that dude that lost and uh, started talking shit on Twitter? <laughs> Kurt, you know, Chris Curtis. But he, he's openly said he's petty. You know, he said it He said it on our show, too. Like, he's very, very petty. So, he holds grudges and he doesn't let him go. The, the Kelvin Gastelum one, he's never letting that go either. Dominic Cruz. Yeah, I was never... I, I never knew about Crowder. I found out about Crowder after his divorce thing and Brian Callen. I didn't even know who the guy was. So I found out about him when everyone was saying he's annoying, he's an asshole. So I can't, I don't want to jump on that train because, I don't know, I didn't really know him before. Racism earns you a free corporal punishment ticket. You know, I think, it's weird. I think, like, race jokes are very funny. I do. Like, I think even the inappropriate ones I find very funny. I do. But... There are ways to deliver these jokes, you know, in a way where it's not racist. I don't know if that's if that makes any sense. There are some people that just tell racist jokes just to be racist, and there are other people that tell a racist joke because it's fucking funny, you know? So, it's tricky, you know? I think all jokes, about any, you know, the, the, you can make, I mean, people make 9-11 jokes, and I saw it with my own fucking eyes, but there could be funny 9-11 jokes, you know? <clears throat> They're religious jokes. People don't want to hear religious jokes. And if it's delivered correctly, I mean, it's funny. I like to eat my shithole, Michael Johnson. Funny jokes are funny. Tito Ortiz. He's an interesting character. You can make anything funny. I agree. Yeah, it's how you got to deliver it. It's not easy on YouTube because we can see laughing emojis, we can see LOLs, but you don't get that instant ha ha ha, you know, you don't know. Jesse doesn't really laugh at much, so, and when she does, it's usually at me. <laughs> so so if, I'm, if I'm creating a joke and I, I throw it out there, I don't know. I don't know if it hits. And then most of the time people say you're in a fucking asshole or, you know, you're not funny. 
so then I'm assuming it doesn't hit, and then I'm hard on myself. So on YouTube, it's very tricky. Like, I could only imagine when COVID hit, and then, like, comedians were trying to do their stand-up set. Like, when Norm MacDonald did his stand-up before he died to no audience. Like, that, that sounds hor horrific. I've become too sensitive during the race riots. I've become too sensitive during race riots. AIDS jokes never get sold. I do notice that's it's one of your faves. I got very interesting lighting going on. It's we're kind of like watching the sunset off my fucking shiny face. People forget how long we beat them uh, down for. All right. I don't want to read essays. Just give me a couple of you know. Just Koscheck uh, is it? Oh yeah, Koscheck was very annoying. He was. Sometimes it's hard to read sarcasm without emojis. Yeah. Text. Like, you guys could be goofing around. I could take it as serious. Or you could be serious. And I'm thinking you're goofing around. So that's very tricky. I look golden in the light. Biggest flopper in UFC history. I was so happy when uh, Willie knocked out his stupid knocked his stupid ass out. Thank you, Strange Highness. Very kind of you. The check's in the mail. Chris uh, Meyer is really funny on SNL. I would never hire her. Chrissy Meyer, Mayer. I gotta say, if I saw her face, I probably know who she is. Yo, know, mama jokes. During the cancel culture era, stand-up comedy sucked. Uh, plenty of dicks still kind of does. Yeah, at least you got guys like Chappelle that you know they don't give a fuck. Like Bill Burr changed a little bit, but he's still funny. You could tell Burr, you know, he got married and. Things changed a little bit, but he's, he's still a funny dude. Chick comedians can't be funny. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You're not wrong. Wait, listen. Fuck. There are, there's a very small percentage. There are funny win, win, women, but there's a very small percentage of funny stand-up female comedians. I, I, I couldn't even name one. Like, I used to like Sarah Silverman back in the day, but I don't know if she's funny anymore. And it's not to be, like, sexist or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. It's, I think, I think it's because, like, for some reason, like, locker room humor, jock humor, guy humor, uh, the bro humor, talking about dicks, pussy ass, is kind of funny. But then when a female does it, we look at females as they got to be, you know, I don't know. It's weird. It's, I don't know. I, I think we, we might have fucked up. I think it's our fault. It's the guy's fault. That women aren't funny. Joan Rivers. Yeah, Joan Rivers didn't give a fuck. You know who I used to love? Not anymore, but I used to like a lot was Lisa Lampanelli. Back in the day, she was vicious. Very funny. And then, I don't know, like, she changed. She lost. When she lost weight, she became unfunny again. <laughs> Amy Schumer. <laughs> Tom Segura's wife. I, know, I don't think I've heard her. Joan Rivers was one of the only ones. Yeah, Joan Rivers was funny. Comedians nowadays can't stay. And think about it, Joan Rivers, when she was doing comedy, it was super male-driven, heavily male-driven, and she still stood out. So that is that is something special. That one, Gerb, very funny. Kevin Bloody Wilson is a classic after watching Ali Wong. Uh, I'm convinced they are not. Christina P. Done changed. Writing and produce, yeah. What what happened? You talking about Lampanelli? She lost a bunch of weight and just fell off. He's such a self hating guy. I love that though. I I relate to guys like Bill Burr so much because there's this like in inner dialogue of how miserable. Like, no matter how happy I am, there's always that inner miserable self that is just hiding, and Bill Burr just lets it out. And I and I I truly appreciate that. I'm funny, but looks aren't everything. <laughs> Willie Tomlinson. I mean, Alex is kicking in. Nancy Drew, self-depreciating humor is hilarious. Yes, I agree. If you could make fun of yourself, you you have the open ability to make fun of everybody. It's very important to make fun of yourself. Very important. If you do not rip yourself apart, or self, or if you're not self-aware, that's a problem. Bill Burr's hilarious. I agree. I, th I even think his last... All right, here we go. We're back in the mix. Looks like we're ready for the main card. Man, Sam, we really do love you. 
And I appreciate everyone stopping by right now and hanging out. I know this might not be the most entertaining of streams, but I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Sometimes, once a month, once every two months, three months, we'll go back to the phone stream, we'll, we'll make it very intimate, I'll let the fucking mosquitoes eat me, we'll, we'll just fucking have a chat, we'll talk about fights, and then we'll go back to the studio again. But I like to, I like to switch it up and I appreciate you guys hanging out. Okay, let's see who's next. I don't even care. Like, all I care about is the album fight. Okay, we're waiting. This is tight. Lisa Lampanelli was real cool back in the day. In the Rose days, yes. Yeah, she was funny. The hog is entertained. I appreciate you doing these streams. I spend way too much time home alone. Let's go, man. This is the best, uh, Moss. Thanks for keeping it. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Blue Gloves coming out. And Jesse will be with us as well. She's... I could probably move this party inside. I had to wait for the baby to go to bed. All right. So it looks like... It looks like tomorrow's marathon stream is not going to happen. So let's make the best of tonight. Like I said, we do have the uh, donation goal. If, you, if we do hit this goal of 12K, we're going to do a bonus uh, crazy eight-hour marathon. Monica involved. She's coming over, sleeping over tomorrow. So a whole thing. With that, we're going to bring the community in and all that stuff. If we hit that crazy goal. If we don't, we'll see you on Monday on this channel. We're going to react to Sam Alvey's fight at heavyweight. That's going down. If you want to talk anything UFC, rattle it away. I like chatting about that shit as well. And that's where we are right now. Car, let's see, car. Okay. Hold on a second here. Uh, seven. Give me that. Let me respond to this person. Give me one second. Multitasking. Go. All right, so Jason Gibson. Let's see what this guy's about. It's still a prelim? Oh my god, it's the longest card ever. Jason Gibson. So this is Jason Gibson. He's 5 and 1 on a 3 fight win streak. He's fighting a Hunter James. Jason Gibson Hunter James. Okay, so that's I guess we're still on the prelims. It's all just melted together, this card. I'm watching um, these guys walk to the cage. I've had the pleasure of doing that once, but I wasn't fighting. <laughs> I was walking with Jason Showers. He's like, yo, you want to walk out with me? I'm like, yeah, I would like to do that. That would be fun. And I was so uncomfortable. Um, so I've made the walk. I've just never... Well, I got in the cage, too. I did interviews. So I guess that counts, right? Does that count? Does it give me street cred? How many people in the chat have actually made the walk to a cage? Let me know. Whether it's fighting or in a corner. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. That's the closest I got to actually getting into a fight. This is a pay-per-view. Yeah, it's on uh, Fight TV. We got a link pinned in our live chat. So anyone that uses our code um, gets a 10% credit. 10 credit. $10 credit. So hit our code up if you want to watch. Play a drinking game. Uh, Chris Pratt walking out Bellator fighters is cringe. Cameron Gray. So I guess no, huh? Yeah, Sober Carl. It is a weird thing, man. Like watching these guys walk out. Like it's like you got to get in that mindset before you get locked in there. Wow, this guy's getting right in his face. Okay. So we got James versus Gibson. These guys are fired up. They look like babies. How old are these kids? 21 years old versus 22. This is a 155 pound fight, but one of the guys missed weight. Jason Gibson. Let's listen. Okay, of course I can't show it, but I'll have a little audio in the background. Fight! 
He's mugging the camera. The best song to walk out to? I mean, it depends what gets you going. Some people want to be in the zone. Some people want to be fired up. Some people want to be zen. So it depends. Who is that behind me? That is my neighbor. Sometimes they jump the wall. Bit of animosity here in the cage, looking at Hunter James and Jason Gibbs. Well, listen to the commentary. Let's let them do their job, okay? <laughs> Jason Gibson sits right down. And Gibson is doing a. Uh, excuse me, Nick Diaz. How dare I? He's doing. <laughs> he's doing the Diaz. This crap is. <laughs> Yo, Gibson's a fucking wacko. Yo, Gibson. He jumped in to meet him in the middle and just fell to the ground. He got popped to the right. What is Gibson? Yeah. Gibson is just spinning around. He <laughs> comes in with a head. Dude, Gibson's nuts. <laughs> this guy's fucking out of his mind. Dude, this guy is wild. <laughs> Gibson's nuts. He is on a three fight win streak. He's five and one. He's got a, a Diaz mentality as he fights. This guy, Hunter James, though, is 5-0. and oh. He's undefeated. It's a good matchup here. Alright, we're going to listen to the commentary, guys. Yeah, Gibson working on the cage here. Yeah. Trying to get that takedown. Right yep. Woo! Yo, Gibson is a fucking... He is a mess. <laughs> he's rolling around. Dude, he's nuts. Talk about unorthodox. This guy, Hunter's... Well, here's what I'm going to say to that, is that this is a dirty fight, and I do not think they like each other. Well, their Yo, kids are the five fuck? minutes apart. They, they trained oh, together oh, before. Oh, oh. They're yeah. fine, man. They were good at weigh yesterday. Wow, well, Gibson just got this his back. Yeah. Gibson got his back. He got a hook in. He's going for the neck. He's looking to take the O. Yeah. Hunter's got to try to... He's got to try to fight the hands. Oh, hands oh he slipped off. Now he's going to an armbar. Gibson going on armbar. Oh, he's twisting it around. He got it. He broke his arm. Yo, Jason Gibson. Yo. Yo, Jason Gibson. This dude just took the O from Hunter James. Got him twisted in the arm. Dude, that shit was wild. Dude, how many people, how many people just witnessed that fight that just happened? Oh, he broke his arm. Ah, oh, Hunter broke his arm. Dude, that was slick. This dude was fighting, he was rolling all over the place, throwing spinning back fists. He was just like so unorthodox. Craziness. It was like a hybrid of Ryan Hall meets Nick Diaz. Just bizarre fight. Now he's on a four fight win streak. He just beat a guy that was 5-0. That was fun. Dude, that was a crazy first round. If you guys did not get a chance to see this, catch that replay, man. Did anyone see this? Strange Highness, dang, wow, ouch. Dude, that was wild, man. He broke his arm. Yeah, Roberto, Robert, you saw that, man? Dude, he fucking, that arm went the complete wrong direction. Elbow bent backwards. Let's go, champ. What do we got over here? We got a champion with a super chat? Let's let that thing play. Dude, that was that was pretty wild. Ah, uh, super chat. Thank you, Marcus, my man. My walkout would be Tam's dear desolation or Aquas. Musical notes: Doctor Jones, Doctor Jones, calling Doctor Jones, <laughs> Doctor Jones, Doctor Jones. Doctor Jones. Wake up now. Thank you. What a donation right there. Round of applause. Thank you for that super chat. A super duper chat. I appreciate that. By the way, we're streaming on Prism, and it and it's coming in pretty good. It's not bad, right? It's 720. It's not 1080. The lighting's not the best, but all things considered, it's all right. If I got better lighting, it would it wouldn't be that bad. We gotta get the light on my back. 
Thank you for the super chat, my man. That's from Marcus Wright, a blue belt of the chat. You are a champion. He just won a belt. All right, so we got we got some good respect by the guys. This guy just lost his O, man. His arm seems like it's fine. Wow, bent in the wrong direction. His arm seems like it's fine. So Jason Gibson. Dude, this guy is wild. He's... I would like to put this guy on the contender series. He's still green, but he's five. Damn, man. I, my allergies are killing me. He's six and one right now. Six and one. I want to see more of this kid. Jason Gibson. I got to remember that name. This is why you watch these fights, right? Sometimes you get like a crazy diamond in the rough. And that kid was fun. Dude, complete lunatic. Oh, my God. Myers is the next fight. Let's see. Man, where is this main card? Nowhere to be found. Spires. TJ Spires. I can't even find this guy. Mm, I'm looking for this guy. I can't find him. I didn't even see him on the card. Spires? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're on the main card. All right, so TJ Spires versus Toby P. Toby P versus TJ Spires. Coming up next. Walk out to hit him up. All right, here we go. Lightweight uh, bout coming up. It looks like fucking, in his corner, it looks like Charles Oliveira. <laughs> it's not, but it looks like him. So Spire's walking out first. So he's making his professional debut. So was that the AMI record? Hold on, let me see this, of these last two. I guess that was an AMI champ. Jason Gibson. Oh, I'm getting killed. Oh, that was amateur, okay. All right, so th that was an amateur fight. Okay, let's pump the brakes on that kid. But Jason Gibson still was pretty fun. So he's 5-1 and one as an Ami. So now we're going into the professional fights. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I gotta polish up my regional scene fight watching. I'm, I'm rusty. 24 bucks for all these fights. Yeah, Roberto, I gotta be honest. Like, listen. 24 is still a little steep, I think. Right? To, to, to buy a card in Georgia... Sam Alvey's fighting at heavyweight, like that, you know, it's like, ah, but it's been entertaining. It has. And there are a lot of fights on this card. So if you're a fight fan, you got nothing going on, 24 bucks, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess not bad. Not bad. Uh -uh. My allergies are so, uh, so bad. That my chest and everything gets so inflamed, uh, makes it hard to breathe. Dude, my allergies, I don't know how old you are, but as I get older, my allergies are just getting worse. I'm, now I'm like on a steady dosage of, Xe uh, I was going to say Xanax, of uh, um, Zyrtec. I never took allergy medicine, medicine. Now I'm taking it every day. It seems to get worse as I get older. When we see the glove touch uh, fighting on the uh, regional scene, repping MMA holes. I don't think we're going to see that. Good deal for the card. Wait, dude, I have a question. Why? Because I fucked your wife, Adolf? Whoa! I'm 27, about to be 28. I hope it doesn't get worse. You're 27? Yeah, when I was in my 20s, I had allergies, but not like this, man. It got, got bit. My eyes, I can't fucking... My eyes are all dry. My nose. But then again, I am in the desert and it's, everything's kind of blooming right now and so allergies change yeah mine has morphed for sure oh these guys look fired up all right so we got toby p versus tj spires p is the ginger p is the ginger i saw him punching things in discord bro <laughs> I mean, he has, he's gone to a couple of gyms, right? Try to get his anger out. 
If he's going to get into it, he's got to get into it now. That's for sure. You don't want a late bloomer these days. These kids, like, you got kids in the UFC at 20. You got, Char what, you got uh, Raul Rosas, 18 years old in the UFC. So if you're thinking about chasing that dream, I know it's never too late to chase a dream. But to be an MMA fighter, I think um, it's starting to become a young man's game. And unless you're heavyweight, heavyweight seems to be a little older. The, the higher weight classes you can nudge. Oh my God, this is they're they're going at it. So P. So this is P. Ver Here, let's let the commentary take it away. I'm gonna be lazy bones tonight. Big shot. So P drops him, but right back up is Spires. I wish this was like XMMA. We should reach out to this company and see if we can do an XMMA type deal where we show their fights on our channel. It's okay, man. Thank you, though. Uh, you're a cool dude. Yeah, Roberto's one of the best. I'll give you the username and pin. Yo, Roberto's a G, man. He's a G. Yeah, these guys are pretty. They're pretty. Oh, man, that left hand again. P eats it. Nice leg kick there. It's a good, good first round. Oh, the meat hook. Wow, this guy's making his pro debut. Woo! They're going. I tell you, this is a really good fight. P versus Spires. P is really coming in aggressive. Spires has tagged him a couple of times. But P looks like he is on the hunt right now. He just ate a left hand. He still walks through it. P eats the left and the right again. The left by... Oh, my God. Spires letting him go. P is just eating everything. And P comes back. The jab. Oh, my God. Spires got him down. Spire's got the back. Spire's got the hook. I'm kind of weirdly rooting for P. Spire's is 1-0 as a pro. P is 0-0. But Spire's is just cracking him now. Oh, it dumps him on his head. Spire's. So P... Oh, Spire! Damn, P now on top. Oh, I'm going to have to go inside. I'm watching NBA listening here. Uh, come on to Miami. What is so? Wait. So Boston is they're they're trying to come back from the three zero deficit. Is this is this the sixth game? What game? What game we at? Wow, Boston comes back. Oh three, right? That's crazy. So Spires uh, P's on top now. He's cracking on Spires. Oh, he's cracking him nasty. Whoa, Spires went out. He's out. He's done. Toby P gets the job done. So, oh, I'm sorry, P was the 1 0 fighter. Spires was 0 0. Wow, P just grounded and pounded him, took him out. P's a dog, man. Toby P, P E E, with the ground and pound finish. What a round. Oh, yeah, Spires went down. The ref, he's, he's a big boy, this ref. I'm pretty sure this ref was in Triton fights he, like four years ago. When we were doing the play-by-play, -play, he looks very familiar. Uh, DeZone just had a major robbery guy named uh, Scrappy. Thank you for the subscribe, Dusty. Appreciate you stopping by. This is an intimate stream. We're just hanging out, waiting for Sam Alvey. Be back in the studio Monday. How long for Alvi? So this is the first fight on the main card just finished. Alvi's the co-main event. There's six fights. I have a feeling the main card is going to go pretty quick. We've been here for almost the entire card. And it's been entertaining. We would have nothing else to be doing. I mean, LFA is on tonight as well. Maybe some people are watching LFA. There is, I think, Cage Titans might be tonight as well. My my bud uh, Pat Casey fighting in the main event there, go Pat. But we're we're gonna react to Sam Alvey. 
I think the Cage Titans might be on Fight TV as well. I don't know how you could watch that. Crypto have a... Uh, Do you think they will stay at heavyweight after this fight and continue to fight at that weight? Who, uh, Sam? No, I think Sam, Sam just took this fight. They offered it to him and he just took it. I gotta say, Sam's a cool guy. I don't want to see him smashed tonight. Yeah, guy's got 50 pounds on him. <laughs> I don't want to see him smashed either. You know, here's a fun fact. Sam Alvey was never knocked out. He lost by TKO, um, but he was never knocked out. In all of his professional fights, Sam Alvey was never knocked out. It's pretty wild to think about. But TKO, yes. Sam's on an eight-fight streak. He is. Alvy gets a KO. I have a feeling, just looking at his opponent, Sam should win this fight. His opponents were not 50 pounds heavier. I don't believe that it's from us, so I'll take it. They got hit by Dan Henderson many times. Oh, but yeah, he got knocked out in by Dan Henderson in training. Yes, that is true. Dan Henderson, he says Dan Henderson is the hardest guy he's, that's ever hit him. I'll be going to go on a KO streak and get back to the UFC. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Sam. Let's go, Sam. Is he fighting now? Here we go. This is it. It's the Sam Alvey fight. Here we go. All right, we're here. We're at the co-main event. Sam's got his kids. Oh my God. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. This guy. He's got his, he got his, he got his kids walking out with him. A little bit of There's Sam. They're smiling, Sam. Oh, he's got that fucking dude. Oh, I forgot that guy's name. He was in the Ultimate Fighter. Who's that hairy guy that's missing the teeth? That's in the Ultimate Fighter. I know he trains with him. I can't remember his name. He also got an influencer in his corner. I don't know. That guy with the hat on backwards, he's some influencer. I have no idea who the guy is. He's got like a million followers on Instagram. So there's Smiling Sam, all happy. Whoa, where's his wife? Wow, his wife is actually not in the corner. So she's probably with the rest of the kids. Is this... Guys, when was the last time... When was the last time... What his wife in the corner? All right, here we go. We just go right. To, we're just going right to Sam's fight. All right, here we go. Smiling Sam Alvey. Hearns, let's go, Hearns. Here we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's do it. One of the reason I decided to purchase this event is because of the hat I won from you guys. Oh, the hat is hanging in my room. Let's go, let's go, Hearns. That's right. He won the hat. Yeah. So, uh, fun story. If you if you're new to the channel, uh, Sam Alvey gave us a hat. It was signed by him. Hendo, OSP, um, who was the third? I can't remember who was the other fighters on there. If you, I don't know, Roberto, if you remember, but I had a cool, a cool gift. So it was a weird giveaway, and I just commented on this channel, and I won by accident. So Sam's like, "Yo, give it, you know, uh, it's yours," and I'm like, "Okay, I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna give it to someone from the audience." So Hearns won the hat, and uh, away we go. So now he's smiling, Sam. Cameron Graham is his opponent. Cameron Graham's a big boy, man. The fight, Sam's first fight at heavyweight. So I think, I think Graham is a grappler, I think, which is interesting considering he's 50 pounds heavier. And Sam likes to sling. Sam about to get wrecked. Wife at home with the baby. Thanks for the memory, smile, Sam. CTE. He'll probably win since his wife is in the corner. Match. He just starts beating everyone without the wife in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember the last time that Sam's wife wasn't in his corner. She's always in his corner. That's kind of weird. I wonder how weird that is for Sam. I mean, maybe there were fights I, I just don't know about. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, listen. 
I've been just sitting here in my yard watching some fights, and I, I've enjoyed this stream. I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys. After this, we'll, we'll watch the main event, the title fight. There's respect by both guys. And then we'll open up uh, the gifts that you guys sent us from uh, the registry. Sam looks good at heavyweight, man. There's the Sam Alvey with the horns coming at you. Sam's wife sent me DMs. Would you rather fight... <laughs> what? If made... Ne Wait. If made Netflix-style six 12-year-olds... Or Sam Alvey, one fight. Wait, six 12-year-olds or Sam Alvey? You're asking who would I fight? Here we go, round one. I would take the 12-year-olds. How's your voice holding up there? No, man, it's, uh, it's holding up a little bit better. <laughs> so the ring announcer is the commentator as well. This guy's got a lot of, he's wearing a lot of hats tonight. So right here, let's get back to the action. So he's the play-by-play -play guy and the ring announcer. This guy's <laughs> double duty. You know, then you got Sam, who was, you know... All right, here we go. We're going to listen to me. We're not going to listen to this guy. We're not going to listen to this guy. We're going to listen to me because this guy sounds like, he sounds like he talks like, I'm not just talking like this. All right, so Sam Alvey's starting off with some leg kicks over here. Sam Alvey's me mugging him as he's trying to walk in out of the southpaw stance. Graham, out of the orthodox stance, Graham slowly comes forward. They greet each other back in the center as Graham moves in. Sam throws out the jab. So they're just feeling each other out. First round of action. Four minutes and five seconds on the clock. Sam trying to throw a double jab. And Graham taking his time walking in with the left. Outside leg kick. Graham inside leg kick. Sam. Alvy. Uh-oh. Here we go. Graham going in for the takedown. This is the 50 extra pounds as Graham has Alvy against the cage. Oh, <laughs> Sam Alvy has the underhook. Eats a knee to the body. And smiling Sam putting pressure on the back of the head of Graham. Graham is trying to... Keep him against the cage, and Sam is trying to remove his body, and Graham holds him in place. Smiling Sam Alvey, striking to the side of the head of Graham, and Graham still holding Sam in place. Graham is leveling down for two legs as Sam hits him with a couple of right hands to the side of the head. Here comes Graham going for the leg. If he gets on top of Alvey, that's going uh, to be a tough situation. Graham lifting for the single, still cannot get Alvey down. Trying to grind on Sam. Sam trying to wrap and spin. He does. He spins and now has control against the fence. Sam Alvey has Graham in a bad spot over here. And Graham's arm is tied up as Sam is tangling him up. I'm surprised Sam is not trying to separate here. He's holding Graham to the fence. And he's content with clinching against the cage. As Graham hits him with some knees, Sam is still holding on to Graham. I wonder why Sam's holding him like this. Is he going to try to take him down? He looks like it. He drags him to a knee. Sam hits him with some right hands. Sam, more right hands. And Graham is trying to get back up. He plants himself. He does get back up. Sam hits him with a knee and they separate. Back towards the center. Okay, here comes Graham walking in. The extra 50 pounds coming forward. And Sam stands, eats an outside leg kick by Graham. Graham to the body with a left or right hand by Alvy. Graham trying to hit him with a counter left, but does not connect. Back to the center. Both guys reset the intimacy of the lighting. I look up there, the lighting goes away. I look down here, I'm fine. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do about that. But the phone is just, it's, it's out of control. So we got Alvy versus Graham. 155 left. Alvy goes to the backside, trying to get Graham down. Does! Alvy gets the takedown. Side control. So the smiling Sam gets the side control. And the takedown on Graham. Sam Alvey controlling Graham on the mat. Big boy stuck to the mat. And he's showing off his money underwear. Graham's got money underwear on. And venom socks. <laughs> it looks like. Graham trying to roll around. His smiling Sam still controls. And here we go. Sam's going to show some grappling. They're saying Sam elbows from his corner. 
They're asking for elbows. So uh, Sam uh, obliges. So Sam, not only does he get the takedown, but has the whereabouts of doing it in front of his corner. So he gets some advice, and Sam's trying to pass over now. It looks like Sam wants to mount him. Sam's shoulder striking from the top as Graham is just holding on for dear life with one minute left in the first round. So Sam Alvey still has side control here. Graham's stuck on the mat. So it looks like round one is going to be Sam if it stays like this. Smiling Sam Alvey. Still on side control. Shoulder bump from the top. There he goes. He's going for the mount. And Graham just gives it to him. And here comes Sam. Graham gives up the back. Sam spreads him out. Sam is holding onto the cage. He's like, no, I'm not. Wait, what? Oh, his glove is stuck in the cage? Oh, my God. The ref completely screwed up. So Sam had his knuckles to the fence. And he's like, bro, I'm not holding onto the cage. And Graham is eating it. Left and right are coming in by Alvy. Alvy's coming in both sides. The 10-second tap. And Graham is trying to stay alive. I'm not sure. I mean, the ref is seeing enough here. Okay, the round is over. Damn, I'm surprised. The ref could have stepped in there. Wow, there's there's a lot of complaining. So Graham was yelling at Sam, and Sam's yelling back. I think Graham was insinuating that he was holding onto the cage. Sam Alvey had his knuckles against the fence. Hold on. Yeah, so, yeah, Sam Sam did not have a hold of the cage. And the ref thought he did. The ref slowed. Sam could have finished him there. But the ref slowed down the pacing of the ground and pound. And, uh, and Graham was just thinking that he had the cage too. But no, Sam is just a former UFC fighter that knows what to do in that position. So we're going into a second round. What's the damage look like? There's really no damage. Um, but Sam landed way more, had the dominant position for majority of the round, and uh, Sam definitely won round one, no doubt. Okay, here we go, round two. Man, Sam Alvey fighting outside of the UFC. Ref says, are you ready? And Graham goes for the tap. Like, like Graham's trying to go for the respect. Sam could have popped him there. And here comes an outside leg kick by Graham. A right hand by Graham. Sam is holding more weight, too. So I'm curious how the cardio is going to be. You know, fighting at heavyweight. That's crazy, man. Graham throws a left in there. Now, Graham is not the tallest of guys. So Sam does have the height on him. He hits him with the outside leg kick. But like I said before, Graham does have 50 extra pounds. It seems like not even a problem as Graham hits him to the body with the right. Graham gives him a nod, gives him a big smile. And Sam is just kind of... Oh, here we go. Clinches up. Sam pushes Graham to the fence. Sam going for the takedown. Sam gets his takedown. It's a wrap. We got 4-11 left in the second round. I'm assuming it's a three-round fight. Yeah, Graham's got nothing for Sam. Sam's holding him against the fence. Graham's trying to hit him with some rights. Sam is stomping on him with the feet. Sam trying to trip him down, trying to use that. Nope, does not get him down there. All right, 354 left, and Sam still controlling against the fence. So we got a little bit of a grinder here in the second. Jones will finish him. I'm telling you, Sam Alvey's going to win this fight. He's going to go to PFL. He's going to beat Ngannou. And then after he beats Ngannou, he's going to go into the UFC. He's going to get back a contract back in the UFC, and he's going to finish John Jones. Sam Alvey will be your heavyweight champion of the UFC by the end of 2024. You heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first. Smiling Sam Alvey. Heavyweight, UFC heavyweight champion. Everyone, you all must have forgot. Sam's still controlling against the cage here with 310 left. That's my goat. What do you think? One's in the chat. One's in the chat if you think Sam Alvey's going to be the heavyweight champ of the UFC by the end of 2024. Before 2024 is up, you will see it. Uh, Sam doing some work against the fence. The underhook stomping on the top of the left foot. <laughs> Still controlling against the fence. So Graham stuck against the cage. 
And Sam drags him down. 2.36 on the clock. Sam worked him down to the mat. And Graham is just rolling over. It looks like Graham might have, I don't know, did he hurt his knee? He was holding onto his knee. But Graham is trying to kick from off the fence. Sam Alvey is sitting on side control here with 2.15 left. And Sam once again gets the takedown by his corner. So getting the luxury of the advice of his corner peeps. Elbow coming in. The influencer is giving some advice from the corner. Sam hits him with another elbow. And Sam hits him with another elbow. I noticed that Sam has his... I mean, uh, his corner has a camera there. So I'm assuming, go subscribe to Sam Alvey's YouTube channel. I guarantee you'll see that angle of the fight from Sam's YouTube channel. Hell, he might even be live streaming from there. I don't know. That would be smart if he was. Sam Alvey hits him with some right hands and Graham is trying to get back up. Sam trips the arm away and wisely pulls him back down to the ground. Veteran experience of Alvey taking play here with 125 left in the second round. So Alvy about to win round number two as he hammer fists and he hits with right hands to the side of the head of Graham. Graham just absorbing strikes and trying to get back up. And 115 on the clock. Alvy still working on the mat. Sun setting behind us. The lights are dimming. But the fights are going on. With one minute on the clock, Sam controlling on the mat as Graham is trying to get back up. Alvy still with control. The control time just adding up as Alvy hits him with more rights to the side of the head. The signature smile on the back of his head shaved into his, his hair. Sam Alvy hitting him with some more rights and Graham rolls from the bottom and Sam just gets side control on the other side. But Graham is face down. Sam was thinking about going to the back but then stays on the side and elbows to the side of the head by Alvy. I mean, dude, Graham's got nothing for Sam. He's got nothing. Two zip Sam, the uh, future UFC heavyweight champ, just doing work. Whoa, man. Graham trying to get back up, and Sam crucifying him as he holds on to both arms with his legs and arms. And 10 seconds left. Sam was thinking about a choke, but aborted that. Now has side control again, and elbows are coming in by Sam at the end as I just crushed a bug against my leg. So Sam gets back up, old heavyweight. And uh, walks to his corner. Two zip, Sam. Two zip, baby. Two zip. Gotcha. Over him, a kickboxer, and he was uh, way past his prime. In that fight, he was even juiced. They were clueless. He's not showing it on his. He's not showing it. Okay, so you'll probably catch an upload of behind-the-scenes stuff. I would imagine. All right, I think you take a shot. Man, if I'm Sam, I would say, yo, can I live stream this for my YouTube? I don't see why you can't. I know it's on Fight TV, but come on. One fight side of the cage? Like, you mean to tell me that they wouldn't let him do that? That's crazy, man. Maybe Sam didn't even think of it. I don't know. All right, we're getting ready for round three. We are on the phone in the backyard watching a little B2... What is it called? B2S... BS, BOS, BOS, BS. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, go subscribe to his channel so you can, uh, you can check and tell him the MMA hole sent you, of course. You know, shameless, shameless plug us. I want you guys to annoy every fighter by saying our name. Uh, we need an animal uh, to butcher at the meetup. A demon Tia is going to show us how to process our game, bro. Does anyone know how to fillet a fish? Maybe we'll go to a lake. We'll go fishing or something. I don't know. We'll throw Adolf. I thought Adolf was leaving. He's still here. Didn't you say you were going to leave? All right. Uh, what did you eat today? What did I eat? I had a beautiful omelet. You know... Um, I had an omelet. I actually had, I ate pretty healthy. I, I had my omelet. Um, it had turmeric. It had uh, ginger. It had uh, black pepper. It had cayenne pepper. It had a little drizzle of salsa and some uh, uh, cheddar cheese. Wrap that thing in there. It's delicious. It's got all that good stuff in there. 
yeah, healthy stuff in there and a little salsa, you know, give a little extra flavor. That was delicious. And then I had um, grilled chicken with little wedged potatoes and some asparagus. The asparagus was wrapped in bacon, which was delish. I didn't have dinner yet, though. I'm going to have a late dinner. But Sam's got side control on the ground, by the way, in case you were wondering. Third round, 3.28 on the clock. Sam's going to win by decision unless, I don't know. What did you guys eat? <clears throat> Which one was one of the most boring heavyweight fights in history? You talking about Lewis? I mean, you talking about which which one? Uh, Nganu versus Derek? Thank you for the subscribe, man. Appreciate it. Sam is having a Big Mac for dinner. Sam's gonna be chilling, man. He's gonna win this fight, man. He's he's on the side of his opponent, and, and I mean, it's all Sam. It's 2.45 on the clock, and my man's trying to get back up. Sam's holding him down. He's got him on a knee. It's been all Alvy. His first win at heavyweight. Nine eggs, a pound of ham, and uh, five cups of Brussels sprouts. Let's go. All right, they're both back up to the feet. Here we go. Two's on the clock. Third round of action. My screen keeps on going out on me. I should plug this in. All right, so let's see if Graham's got anything. Graham comes in with a left. He's holding uh, Sam against the fence. So Graham now has a chance to get Sam down. Let's see, he's going for a single. Sam's done all the work. Graham hits him with a right. Sam hits him with some uppercuts to loosen Graham up. The Graham Cracker hits him with a left to the body. and Oh, here we go. Sam puts Graham on his knees. Graham goes tumbling down and Sam hitting him with body shots. Now left to the side of the head of Graham. So Graham went crumbling down and Sam is taking advantage of it. 1.30 on the clock. Sam cannot finish him. He's trying everything right now. Trying to take out Graham. Graham's eating left to the side of the head. This is all smiling Sam. He'll be smiling after this fight as he elbows his gluteus maximus. All right, Sam's going to win this. Just wait to see if there's going to be a finish. Boxing sucks. Sam can get clipped. You know, anything can happen, but not not now. 107 left, and Graham is face down, his ass up, knees on the mat. Sam sits on the lower back, puts the hooks in very slowly, spreads them out. And Graham's about to take a beating for 55 seconds here. Let's see if he survives. That's the story. The ref's probably going to call this. Left and rights are coming in, and it's almost that time. The ref is saying you got to fight back, and Sam is letting him go to the side of the head. Why even bother? And he steps in. Finally, Sam Alvey has bounced back. That's right. Sam Alvey has bounced back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just jumping in, Sam Alvey has not won a fight since. Oh, my God. 2018. 2018 was the last time smiling Sam Alvey has won a fight. June of 2018, and here he is, 2023. Sam Alvey, congratulations. You have just won at heavyweight by TKO. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful win. Beautiful win by Sam. That is the first of many fights to come for Sam Alvey. In fact, like I said before, he's going to fight Francis Ngannou. He's going to fucking take the money. And then he's going to go to the UFC. And he's going to take out John Bones Jones. After Bones beats Miocic, Sam Alvey's going to go into the UFC. And he's going to show everyone why he still has it. First win in three years. More than that. Way more than that. Five years, yes. Fury versus Jones. Sea level Kane would wipe that division. Boxing is dangerous, but still basic. On his route to the top. That's right. Sam Alvey's just going to embrace the moment. 
The hands are raised. Big smile on his face. Let's see the post. Let's see what Sam's got to say. He better thank the MMA holes. <laughs> I don't know why he would, but it would be hilarious if he did. I think he should. Hey, what's up, brother? How's it going? Back in the day. He's like, give me that mic. He wants Jake Paul. Wonderful, wonderful. Go Sam Alvey. I thought he was gonna get killed for sure. Thanks for the stream, Big MOS, Big MOS, Big MOS. Thank you for that donation. I just paused it right now. Sam Alvey called out Jake fucking Paul. Thank you, D-Man Diaz. Thank you, D-Man Diaz, for that donation. We are one step closer to 12,000 over here in the bonus stream. Thank you so much for that. You are wonderful, wonderful. Now let's get back to Sam Alvey, okay? Calling out Jake fucking Paul. He says something about Logan as well. I'm coming for you, Paul brothers. He calls out the Paul brothers. He said Francis is off the hook. Okay, there he is. Sam Alvey. Thank you, D-Man. Thank you, everyone that donated tonight. I appreciate that. I appreciate your contribution. You're putting food in my, my, my children's mouths, my wife's mouth, my mouth. And I appreciate that. Why couldn't they get the mic a little bit better there? It sounded terrible. So Sam Alvey with the call out. Smiling Sam. Let's go. Oh, Jesse's yelling to put the TV down. Okay, let's let's get back where we were. All right, so here's the main event. We'll hang for the main, then we'll open up gifts, and then we're gonna wrap it up, guys. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. You guys have been amazing. We with the sunset together with us, and we are enjoying a romantic evening on a Saturday night. I couldn't imagine spending it with a better bunch of people. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for hitting the likes. Thank you for donating. And thank you for being wonderful, wonderful. So the main events, I think it's a title fight. Usher versus Butcher. Doug Usher versus Jason Butcher. Might as well fight Jake. Uh, he's always uh, digging smaller uh, old guys. Uh, might as well. I don't, yeah, I gotta be honest with you. You want my honest opinion, guys? Do you, yeah, one's in the chat if you want my honest opinion. Let me know one's in the chat if you want. If, not, if you want a non-honest opinion, drop another number. But if you want an honest opinion from me about that call out, drop a one. This is a three-round title fight? Okay. Three-round title fight. All right, you want the you want the honest opinion? I think that's bad. I think it's bad. I think calling out Jake Paul in this small venue over here, um, I, I think if anything, it would be even more of a reason for Jake not to take this fight. Uh, if you're on the big stage, like if you're on ESPN, you're on the US, UFC, and you call this fight, if you're fighting a novelty fight on a Triller or something like that, big stage, all the thing you call out Jake Paul. You might get some sort of momentum with that. He's in Georgia in like a in a hangar somewhere. The 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 audio is terrible. I understand why you took that shot. I get it, but it's it will never land. And I feel like that might have been a couple of step backs for Sam, uh, back for Sam Alvey. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like I like taking a shot, sure, but I don't know. It just didn't feel right. It feels like Jake would just laugh at something like that. He wouldn't even respond. I hope he does. I hope he does respond, but no. Sam Alvey can do no wrong. 
now fighting Francis Ngannou. Like, if he got on the mic and said, Francis, you're fucking next. Like, I think it would have worked a little bit better. I'm not saying he would have got a Francis Ngannou fight, but I think it would have been hilarious if he called out Francis Ngannou because it's so ridiculous, you know? Um, and that might have got more shares. I could be wrong, but that's where I'm leaning. I think if he would have called out Francis, it would have been so fucking funny. I'm a heavyweight now. Francis, I'm going for you. And then after Francis, I'm going to take out John Jones. If he got on the mic and said that, that would have been so fucking funny that people would have been like, yo, Sam Alvey won a heavyweight fight and he called out Francis. It would have got shared all over the place. Calling out Jake Paul is not... Everyone calls out Jake. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't work. Sam, make me in charge of your PR team. I promise you, big things will happen. Big, big things. Uh, no, he wants to fight Jake. Like, he definitely wants to fight Jake. There's, like, not... He said it on our show. Like, he really wants to fight him. He said it in DMs to me, too. He wants to fight Jake. I think Alvy will uh, be Jake Paul's opponent for his PFL debut. <sighs> All right, maybe we might have something there. Jake's first MMA fight. Well, you might have something there. You might, you might actually have something there. Jake Paul's MMA fight could... The thing is... I, I don't see how you don't have, like, Jake fight Nate, and then after that fight, uh, Nate and MMA. Like, Nate boxing, Nate MMA. I feel like Jake, I don't know. Like, it, it makes more sense for Jake to fight Sam in MMA, but it's still not the big enough name. And you probably have more of a chance of Jake Paul fighting some fucking influencer in MMA. <laughs> like KSI or some shit. G-Man. Wonderful, wonderful. Smiling Sam had to take that shot. Hey to beat Jake Paul's ass. Paul loves fighting ex-UFC fighters, but Smiling Sam is bigger than Jake, so Jake will run from this just like John Jones will run from Pavlovich and Jailton Almeida the next double. Trophy, <laughs> trophy. Like... Kainoto. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. And a Kainoto to you as well. Thank you for that donation. Oh, my God. Flatlined. Fucking flatlined. Oh, my God. Butcher just fucking butchered Usher. Oh my god. Oh, that right. Oh, he just dropped. Just fucking got smoked. Butcher comes in right hand, and it was it was like a rabbit punch. It wasn't like a cock back. It was like a pop like that. Dude, it was like you're knocking on a door. Dude, he he fucking knocked on the door. Boom, done, over. It's over. Jason Butcher, bang, your champ. He didn't even fucking, he didn't even load up. He just went, bop, and just put him down. Holy smokes. Now, come to think of it, this is that ref. Holy shit, I haven't seen this ref in about four years. Big boy ref. Wow, the same guy. Wow, man. He just butchered up for Usher. Butchered him. Baby, tonight. And baby, tonight. DJ got us falling in love again. Love again. Dance, dance, my friend. Usher got smoked. They're putting up. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this. <laughs> The guy that put the belt on his shoulder. Oh my god, is that the is that their Dana White? Dude, the guy that put the belt on his shoulder. I guess I guess he's the promoter. Whoa. Hold on, check look at what I'm looking at over here. Baby tonight. Oh, oh fucking hell. Oh, I missed him. Oh, oh I missed him. Oh I missed him. Oh, there's your new champion, Butcher. I missed the, I missed the, uh, the looking Dana White fella. I missed him. Baby, tonight, the internet is falling in love again. All right. 
that promoter. I have so many jokes, but I'm not gonna make them because I'm a new man. All right, guys, let's um, let's take this party inside, and let's let's wrap it up. Go check out Sean Al uh, Sean, Sam Alvey's uh, Instagram story where I'm taking a poop. I'm not really taking. I'm just sitting on the bowl recording a video. I wasn't actually defecating at the time, but I was sitting on the bowl. Maybe I was sitting down peeing like a girl. It could have been. But anyway, I wanted to feel that sweet bidet on my ass, and I wanted to make sure I shout out the stream, and Sam Alvey gave it a share. So go give it a like. Go comment on that thing. Go follow Sam Alvey on his YouTube channel, on his Instagram. Go check that out. And uh, congratulations to your champion over here. I'm going to take out the garbage. And... Uh, what was that noise? Did you hear that? I'm gonna take it the garbage. How much juice would I have left on this thing? 28? Ooh, I gotta charge this. Alright, we'll take a couple of comments from the chat. Let me just charge this real quick. I'm gonna take out the trash. We're gonna open up presents from the registry. Shout out to Sam Alvey getting a big win. Did anyone, how many, would like two of you watch the fights along with me? Would you think those that have watched? It's gonna be Nate or Mike Perry. <coughs> And MMA for just yeah, like yeah, Mike Perry and PFL makes sense. Nate, oh, you can't you can't do Till. You can't do Till because he's still under contract with the UFC, even though he got a little break from the action. This guy just hang up his gloves, Usher. Oh, is that the computer or me? That's oh, the computer. Uh, June 3rd, good. For what? Who's smoking, smoking that? I'm gonna have an edible soon. Imagine the number Paul and versus Alvy would do. I mean, it, it would break every pay-per-view buy. Like, every, every record it would break. This guy hung his gloves? I don't know, they're interviewing Usher. Like, like he's retiring or something. I don't know. Biddy here. Uh, there's an alien uh, in the house. There is. Murray, uh, Cod, Knight, Biddy. What does that even mean? UFC Fire G, uh, Butcher Carnage, Butcher, Butcher, Butchered him. Butcher, Butcher, Butchered him. Took the belt, smoked him in the first round. All right, those that watched, let me know what you thought of this event. It was entertaining. I was entertained. Uh, I literally have an old lady uh, blister on the top of my foot. It's wraps. Uh, he was asking if the card on June 3rd is good. Oh, card, what's the card? What is the card on June 3rd? I don't even know. Is that the, um, the flyweight fight? Is that, uh, what's his name? Cara France versus the new and new champion. And new flyweight champion of the world. Al Basi. Let me pull it up. Tapology. All right, so. Uh, 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 uh. So LFA, I think, is still going, if you guys want to watch that. Let's see. I like the main event a lot. Caceres versus Pineda. Jim Miller versus Gordon. Tim Elliott versus Victor. Uh, Altamirano. Tim Elliott, fresh off his uh, divorce. Karina Silva, it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad. It's a fight night. It's not bad. The main card's actually kind of tight for a fight night. I don't hate it. We'll be live for it. What time does it start? It starts at 6 p.m. Eastern time? Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. And baby, tonight, DJ's got the phone in. Okay. Well, if we want to hunt scorpions, we want to hunt some scorpions. Now it's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark, dark up in here. First, we're gonna grab the garbage. Oh, we had a snake in the yard the other day. It was a gopher snake, so don't be worried. Oh, what a beautiful night! What? I'm gonna put the fire pit on. Want to have a fire pit? I haven't, I haven't sparked up the fire pit. We can, we can talk UFC by the fire. <clears throat> it seems like the re reception's holding strong. Uh, 
taking out the trash. Okay. All right, done. Okay. The next segment will be us. It's beautiful out. Pizza, dude, I can go for a slice of pizza right now. I can go. By the way, the, the lack of sugar has been, it's been very slimming. I highly recommend it. If you guys can do lack of sugar, that's the way, baby. Get rid of that sugar. Get it out of your diet. All right, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna put this away later. Just finish this thing up. All right, so bonus stream most likely is a no-go, but I, you couldn't blame us for trying. So we tried to do that, I'm gonna put this on here. Did my grill cover just break? Huh, fell off. Okay. So the next stream will be on Monday. We'll be doing a Monday show preparing for UFC fights again. So that's gonna be happening. Okay, here we go. If you gotta poop, just take your phone with you. No. And baby tonight, DJ guy for love again. Usha lost. Ursha lost. You know, I got eaten by a lot of mosquitoes to hang with you guys. Hope you appreciate that. Okay, you ready to open presents? Oh. Josh, you want to say hi? Hi. What are you doing? Notes from hmm? Notes from Just writing notes. Can you put the volume down on that? Okay, so. What we have here. I think this is from D-Rest. He likes to brush over teeth. By the way, D-Rest, if you're watching, I, I appreciate. I appreciate the shirts. It's very nice of you. But you don't have to send these anymore. We, I have a lot of shirts. I do have a lot of shirts, and I do appreciate it. It's very kind of you to do. But wonderful, wonderful. What we could do is giveaways. I'll give. I can give them away. Mystic, what ended up happening to the snake in your backyard? You, you guys identified the snake. It was in our front, and uh, his name was Jeff, and it was a gopher snake. Yeah, it was a safe snake. We got a video of it. Uh, getting wrangled. There's a snake wrangler over here that's very nice and comes by and helps us out. Thank you for the donation, man. But actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Actually, you know what, D-Rest? If you don't mind, if you do send these, I think we could do them as giveaways. We do fun giveaways or something like that. If you are cool with that, let us know. But we will open up this right now. Okay, Jess, can you open this up? Because I want to be the cameraman. No. They miss you. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's for you. It's for me? Well, that's a pretty nice shirt. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, I might not give this one away. Let's see. Pretty nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. HD digital. Very nice. Thank you, D-Rest. Appreciate it. That actually is a very nice shirt. Very, very nice. Very nice. Round of applause, baby. Very, very nice. Thank you, D-Rest. Very cool. Very cool. You know we love dragons. We know we love dragons. That is pretty fucking cool. You don't want to open up the presents? Okay. 
All right, here we go. Look at this. From the best community in the world, they got us gifts from the registry. That's right. And here's a birthday balloon. Happy birthday to Jesse. Put the balloon in front of you. This is like his beat up couch is destroyed from our terrible kid. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over. And Jesse's gonna, what's in the box? Okay, we're gonna do one at a time. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, all right. All right. This is a nice color shirt. Nice job, D-Russ. Very nice. Huh? Okay, do you want to take the boxes over or do you want to get the scissors? I'll take the boxes because you have a baby. And you want to show off the baby? No. Can you smile for them? Yeah. I'd be happy. You grow, you're opening beautiful gifts from our beautiful community. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Okay, if you're just jumping in, this is the present time of the show. This is where it goes. This is where the gifts get opened. If you'd like to send anything to the MMA holes, we have an address in our link tree. Or we have a registry for the new baby that's coming. Any day now, actually. We can just vanish for a couple of days because, all right, where's, can we use a screwdriver? Because the baby might show up whenever he feels like it. So, in Logan's incoming. What do you say to these beautiful people that send us stuff? Thank you. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is like a baby shower, guys. You're invited to the MMA Holes baby shower. Let's have balloons in the chat. The MMA Holes baby shower. Jesse has her first ever baby shower. No, fun fact, Jesse's never had a baby shower. Never happened. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, you are cordially invited. All of you are invited to our baby shower. <laughs> I was messing. Sonosi, you don't have to say. <laughs> Sonosi, you don't have to say if you were messaged or not. Just show up whenever you want, man. You don't. <laughs> Sonosi, every time he pops, he's like, someone messaged me to show up, this and that. Just show up. You don't have to tell us. Uh oh. Okay. A gutter Gawker. Oh, that's cool. Gutter Gawker gave you something? That's cool. I'm, gutter Gawker, you in the chat? And you just been doxxed. <laughs> are you in the chat? Let's see. Baby Jim play... Oh, look at that. A play mat. Very nice. It's Very nice. Ah, uh, play mat. Thank you, Gutter Gawker. Gawk Gawker, if you're in the chat. Tell me that, Matt. That's going to come in handy. That is pretty cool. Tummy time. Pretty cool. The MMA Holes Baby Shower. If you just jump it in, we just went into Sam Alvey, win at heavyweight, finish in the third round. And now it's time for presents from the MMA Holes, the best community in the world. And when I say the best, I mean it. You guys are famous right now. You're on TV. Look. You're on TV. Look who it is. Who is this? It's Sinosi, Sober Carl, Jose. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Jesse's opening. She might give birth right now. I know this is one of these is from Roberto and one is from Sonosi. The man. So the two this, mans with the master planes. This is the compact stroller I was telling you about. That's great. So like short trips or like if we want to like, it folds into like the size of a backpack. That's cool. It's big. Yeah, it's cool. Tiny. This is the best baby shower ever. This, this is the best stroller ever. That actually is great because we keep on shoving that giant monstrosity stroller yeah. in there. And we have two now, so Logan and Ellie can have their own. And that's cool. Thank you very it much. It folds like this tiny and then that is pretty cool. Amazing. Yeah, that's cool. So this one that's gonna come in handy. So we don't know which one ha who got that one. One's from Sonosi, one's from Roberto. They both very said nice. before they sent it. Very nice. 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 Very
The compact. It was, yeah. I was going to get you the compact. Because you were saying how much you wanted it. I was yeah. actually going to be the gift. <laughs> and then you went to the hospital. I'm like, well, that was your gift. Yeah. <laughs> the hospital. <laughs> the, the hospital bills became your gift. <laughs> so good job, guys. That's right, keep out, man. Seriously, the community is the best. I mean, think about it. what What community would be nice enough to buy gifts on a freaking registry? You know? Think about that. That's like, it's like the most, it literally is the most humbling thing that you guys can do. And look, look at the freaking donation goal. $11,000 towards the website that we're trying to put together over here. I mean, the best. The best. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. We got the best community. This is the other one. This is the... So one's Logan's and one's Ellie's. Two of them? What the? Our pocket, our compact. Pocket. What do you, you need two of them? What, are you going to put two in one compact Yeah, they have, they have two for They're ones. Tiny strollers. How are you going to fit two in one stroller? Oh, my God. Sense. So now we both got to push them? Yeah. If oh, we're only fuck. Like small tr Oh, God forbid. <laughs> I'm going to push the lighter one. I'm going to push the lighter. We're I'm going to push traveling, like if we're going through the airport or something, these are fantastic for that. Yeah. Because they literally fold up and you can like put it on your back. Okay. Backpack. Back. All right, cool. That is cool. Very cool. All right. Look at that. Uh oh, you know, special. I just feel so special. <laughs> I've got a special face. You gotta make the face. Come on. Attention is short. Come on. Bust the outer space. Mind in a special place. Congratulations, Party Popper, Big MOS, and JBH on Ellie and Logan Paul. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Ooh. It's Logan's Formula Kettle. Whoa. Whoa. We actually had one of these for Ellie, but it rusted by the time we were done, so we're replacing it. Formula Kettle. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is great. It makes right. bottles in fa a faster time than a bottle warmer. Very nice. <laughs> I think it's from Roberto, too. That's from the Hearns? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Roberto Hernandez, La Tortilla. Thank you so much, Roberto. Very good. The Hearns, thank you guys. Wow. Outdid yourselves again. Woo. The, the best community in the world. The best food can peeps. There's a tortilla over there. There he is. There's a tortilla. Tortilla's in the chat. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Guys and gals, we really thank you. Can't thank you guys enough. We really do appreciate the support each and every time you guys come in and kill it. Jump on the stream. You hit the likes. You hit the donations. You freaking member up. You patrons. The whole deal. Couldn't do it without you. The best. Best in the Fukin world. We salute you. We salute you, MMA holes. For without you, there would be no us. And without no, no us, there would be terrible YouTube content creators. So, as a team, I say thank you. I bid you farewell. Farewell and farewell. And I will see you on the Monday stream. Uh, yeah, Monday stream. Thank you for stopping by. Please make love with your hands for me. Or with your mouths. If you can reach your genitals with that, I would like that as well. Or with your wives or husbands. Or with your animals. Make passionate love, sweet sex. This is, I should fart on you now, right? No, I'm good. Okay. Bye. You want to say like anything? Mouse is just trying to figure out how to end the stream. Would you like to say anything? No. How do you turn this off? End. Now what do you do? <laughs>